Do 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 do. This is what happens when you forget to put your webcam in. Hi all. Evening. Welcome. Sincerest salutations. And welcome to professionalism in a nutshell. Where we may or may not decide that it is prudent to try and sub stream on the fly. Because I've been doing plenty of editing. I've got plenty more to do. And quite frankly, we need a break. So I figured, what the hell, we'll come and say hi to you guys, and hopefully y'all uh, are doing okay. Everything should be coming through, as far as I know. <laughs> there are so many, so many come and see you. Oh my god. Um, so. Yeah, obviously, we've had a little bit of a stall about a week or so ago due to health and tech issues and the right bits and pieces. Um, I can report at this moment um, that there is about six or seven matches on their way that I've covered over the past few days or so. Um, the next couple are already lined up. Uh, the third one, there's an editing error, so I've got to refix that and re-upload that. Um, and then I've got about another three or four games still to edit. Uh, which does take longer because there's no scoreboard at the top right of the screen, so that is a bit of a pain. Um, but yeah, there is, there's, there's a lot of uprising coming over the next little while. So uh, hopefully, hopefully you guys might have some fun out of that. It, I will say it has been a little tricky covering uprising um it is definitely a different experience covering that compared to uh, xmo games uh, partially because obviously i've done a lot of xmo games and not as many uprising but uprising is also just generally i think a little harder to cover um because it's not always clear what people are going to do um so there is a bit of winging it, admittedly but I, I think so far the feedback that we've had and that i've seen has been generally positive um you know, and I would obviously say, like, if it's not your standard, uh, give it a try yourself. <laughs> and let me know how it goes. Uh, anyways, so yeah, I figured I'd play a couple of games of Uprising. Uh, as I've got... I just I just needed a, a break. Because um, editing... It, the, the problem is with the editing, it's not that it takes a ton of time to do. It does take a little while. Like, to, to edit one of those videos, the editing, like, manually... It's about 30 to 40 minutes of video or so. The problem is then rendering it takes quite a while. Because these are big videos. Um, and the rendering is a little bit complicated because the scoreboard's up there as well. So that takes quite a, a while. Um, which is one of those things. So yeah. It is what it is. Oh, I appreciate that. I do appreciate that very, very, very much. Um, you know, it's... It's far, it's far from easy. <laughs> um, and obviously, yeah, like, the fact that the throat infection a couple of weeks back definitely messed uh, a lot of stuff up. Um, it's largely gone now during the day. Uh, although I will say the evenings are still a bit, like, you got to lie down and sometimes it's a bit of a hassle, uh, which is annoying. I wish that would shift, but what are you going to do? But I'm glad folks are enjoying it. We try to do the best we can. Admittedly, like sometimes I can I can get maybe a touch surly on a couple of games we play. Um, you know, it's not as bad as it used to be. Anyways, we should probably see what's going on in the streets, shall we? Um, and see what's happening. Uh, there is this rank stuff that's now started up for Uprising. It's not been fully implemented into the mod. Uh, should note there are changes currently ongoing with the mod, by the way. Uh, I did request uh, something that uh, has, you're going to see in a, a few videos uh, is the fact that uh, they've been having shuffling of spectators onto the table. I've requested them to stop that, and I've had confirmation earlier today to say that that has now been done. So that's going to make my life a bit easier uh, as a content creator. You think back to the finals of the XMO tournaments. It took us like six attempts to stop it shuffling people onto the table. It was a real pain. Uh, stuff like that. Uh, there is also, yeah, ranked and tournament integration coming into the mod soon. Um, I think it, they're looking to get it for some point this month, perhaps the back end of it. Um, so once that gets 
integrated in, you'll find that will become a bit more commonplace. Obviously, it has already started, of course. Um, I mean, it was only the one Staban game, and I knew I shouldn't have picked it, and I, I... Yeah, it was... We should not have picked it. But I got drawn into it, and then look what happened. It was... I was like, this is gonna happen, and it did happen, and it was it was a pretty bad experience. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Sometimes Staban's good, though. Sometimes. But yeah, so there is definitely, definitely stuff going on, but hey. Yes, I'm sure you all do. Unfortunately, I'm not sure I quite agree. But we'll touch upon that as and where we go. I've had some decent Staban games. It's just that it either goes really well or it's kind of a disaster. Um, there's no real middle ground with Staban, so it doesn't really uh, exist. So I'm just looking for a game here. One thing I also get mention of, actually, while I'm here. <laughs> yeah, great. Um, is that I've actually been playing a bit of uh, Dune Digital recently. Uh, I've been giving this a bit of a spin uh, earlier today. Finally got through all the normal challenges. I hadn't really touched them. Uh, I've done the majority of the heroic challenges as well. Some of them are really wacky, but there's some real creative stuff in here as well. Some really, really nice ideas. Um, so that's been fun. Obviously, keeping an eye on that, we do have the X update due some point this summer. I'm sure there'll be an actual competition tourney on that as well, which I do want to get involved. Uh, there were two test events for the beta, or, um, and I didn't get around to either of them because both of them I was already had other commitments, so I couldn't make any. So I do want to actually cover this game. But I have been playing a bit just generally with just random folks, and it's not been too bad an experience, you know? Like, I do appreciate digital and the stuff it does that, you know, TTS is good because of the amount of different things it allows. But TTS openly is still TTS and that has its own limitations, so. Oof. Yeah, that's uh that's unfortunate. Like, I mean the, the, I don't really I don't really go to teams like old me, I remember old me used to have like you know, used to be kind of a bit of a, a hunter of achievement, that sort of thing. Like those days are, are way beyond me, but the challenges are actually pretty fun. Uh, some of them are a bit restart heavy. Um, some of the heroic challenges especially can be a little bit restart heavy until you kind of get what you want. Because you know you're always going first, so you can kind of play around with that until you get a card you want the row and you're pretty sure you can get. Um, but uh, other than that, though, like it's pretty good. I've got a couple of the really hard ones coming, though. So I'm sure that'll be fun. Oh, yeah. Winning combat with 30 more strength. I've still not got that. Which surprises me that I've not got that. But I'll get there in the end. Uh, I've got that, retreating troops, throat challenges, and win 25 online games. I have no idea how many I've won, but it feels like it's probably like 10 or 12. Maybe more than that. We've played a bit of Doom Digital. We'll see. Anyways, getting horribly, horribly distracted here. I do apologize. I guess I'll just move that one actually. So, <coughs> I gotta say, still not. So, yeah, eventually, I will, you know. And it's still occasionally on one or two of the videos. There's the old cough here and there. Um, it's just... It just is what it is, I guess. Well, that didn't take long to fill. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, I guess we'll make a lobby then, shall we? Other than that, when we get ready, everyone have, like, fun Easter's. Do things, see people. Fortunately, most of the people I know like weren't around for Easter, so it was spent largely. What did I even spend Easter doing? Something. <laughs> I think I was like covering a match and then just editing. It was it's just kinda of, eh. It was a it was a day. I went and got myself like a, a nice lunch or something, that was about it. One of those sort of uh, those sort of things. So we'll give this a spin. Um, we have gone through a fair few games on the competition, by the way. I don't think any group has finished yet. There are We have got the first couple of people that are guaranteed qualification in a couple of the groups. We've got some very close groups coming as well, actually. Um, and we've had we've had all sorts of stuff on games, by the way. It has been... When I when I said setting this up, this was going to be kind of like the, uh, the Wild West of Dune Imperium. It really has been. Like, we have seen some... All kinds of weird stuff has happened over the course of uh, um, 
over the course of like these uprising games a lot of weird stuff's happened some really strange decisions um you know it, it's been interesting um and i've always said as well like if you if like if we're still doing this like in a year from now and go back and look at some of these games um i imagine that we'll look back and think what the hell are we doing with some of this uh, it has been really really wild some of the stuff has happened so and let's just probably set ourselves down here get ourselves ready to rock and roll we'll give the uh we'll give the hand wave okay so leader seven verse hidden I've also had a bit of feedback as well regarding the game and sort of changes that could be made in the future of it. And like I said, it's a bit of a test-ish event. It's the first one obviously we've done online, so... Um... Oh, fuck that. Someone didn't sit themselves down. So horizontal means like what you saw there. Always have it on. Otherwise, you have, like... So, you've got the names normally at the sides. This is for the six-player game. If you're playing four-player, you want horizontal. Four-player four vertical hands sucks. That was the other problem with this, the barn game when that happened. That was, like... Ugh, God. It was vertical as well. It was just... Wretched experience. Let's just forget that ever happened. Okay, let's try again. Yellow sea chorus. Oh dear. Well, that, ladies and gentlemen, is um that's a row. That is a row. We are first in player order. So all the card draws are gonna go immediately. Mwadib's gonna go. Margo's gonna go. Uh Fade's gonna go. All that sort of stuff's gonna go immediately here. Uh two of the biggest costs out there. In Overthrow and Long the Fighters. Southern Elders and Maker Keeper pair really well too. Spy Master's just solid. Uh, contracts, by the way. Water, Highliner's pretty strong. And the immediate cash as a backup. It's, um, yeah. Being first is good, I guess. It's really hard for someone to get to 7 Persuasion in one action. Unless they just draw a specific hand. I don't think, unless you're Paul, you basically can't get to Overthrow. What has been picked here? Mardib, Margo, and Fade are still there. So Gurney's been picked. Fade's, um, Gurney's been picked. What the hell? Gurney, Staban? Gurney, Staban. Irulan slash Shadam. I'm meant to take Muad'Dib here. I know I'm meant to take Muad'Dib here. It's... No, it was Jessica. Both of them were gone out. Staban and Gurney were guarantees. Like, it was not even not even debatable that those two had been picked. So let me try and sort out a view here. Is that good enough? I'll have to do, kids. So, Mouse Conflict first. We do pull... Um, both are drawing cards. So it's... It's really hard for us to get to seven. We're probably going to have to frame kit, put in two troops, and then possibly go assembly hall with our ring, depending on what we draw. We have to make a play for fighters here. That's not a good card. Not a good card. I think Staban might have seven, truthfully. He might have he might be punting for it. Yeah, I mean I don't play Mardi very much. All the car all the draw spots are gonna go here. So unfortunately, our hand is pretty bad. Um we can go assembly hall with ring and one out of four hit convincing argument. Be interesting if Gurney trashes anything. If he doesn't trash anything, he's got uh, fighters. Okay, so he doesn't have fighters because he can't get to, can't get there. So 
Assembly Hall gives us a one in four of finding finding Long Live Fighters. What other options do we have that are really worth it? I don't think anything else makes a ton of sense here. So I think we actually play for it. And maybe we fluke an intrigue that can do something for us as well. It also denies fighters to other people if they don't have it. There could be a lot of sixes out there. Do we get there? No. Stam's favor is not bad, though. But that denies a lot of sixes just throwing a dagger to Assembly Hall. It also means if someone's got seven, they probably have to at least consider revealing. Yeah. There's loads of dagger sixes out there. No question about that. Going for fighters. So we had to at least get in the way of that. No one can have seven with a dagger in hand. It's impossible. So they both wanted to get there. That was clear. So we've got six. What are we doing with six is the question. I guess we take Spy Master. We have to keep that away from Staban and probably take Southern Elders. I guess that's okay. We have to deny Staban faction access. That's cheap. I do think he should have just revealed there, by the way. I do think he should have just considered revealing there. He's taken a risk here. Maybe he's assuming I'm going to get fighters. He's going to get Spy Master, but we don't have it. But I think I think Assembly Hall was was a was a good move. I think it was a, I think it was a strong move. So we got the six. So we'll take the Spy Master. Truth Trance comes up instead. I think is the better card for us actually. Yeah, I think it's just the better card for us. Desert Power comes off next. Which he wants, but he knows he's got to grab faction access. Oh, he's a lucky boy. He's a very lucky boy. The faction access has kept coming out here, by the way. Yeah, see, sixes, fives, it was all out there. No, no question about that. It was all it was all out there, so. Yeah, well, he's still got basically almost all faction access anyways. So we get a couple of coins. I, I, I think Assembly Hall was the right move, though. I, 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 I quite... I think, I think it was a good move. I think we played the round pretty well. We just didn't get there. The problem is now we're last to act, and we've got no chance at fighters, and overthrow is also going to be very hard to get. So, unfortunately, at this point, we're now in a lot of trouble. And by a lot of trouble, I mean I don't know what we're going to do, apart from getting kind of fluky. Okay, well, at least we pull loads of faction access. That's about the only thing we've got for us is loads of faction access. So we're going to have to rely on that to try and bail us out here. Because we're in trouble otherwise. We're not getting to the Fremen. So Secrets and Dutiful is probably okay. I don't expect to get to um, Deliver Supplies. But we'll see. Gurney can't get to Frem Kit though. So interesting what Jessica will do if she'll go Desert Tactics to block us. We should use Seek Allies regardless because we've got two Diplo cards. We don't need Seek Allies in our hand anymore. So we can definitely afford to just use that. I assume she'll block us. Yep. So Gurney will go deliver supplies. We'll go secrets. And then rock and roll from there, basically. We have to, we have to keep uh, secrets away from people. Wow. Well, that was the idea. But if you pull that, you just, you know, not much you can do. So we just go to secrets or deliver, whichever one he doesn't go to. He doesn't go to either. Wow, he has got the seven. Okay, so now we have to go deliver supplies first. Because that gives us research station for overthrow and such. We have to take the water. Absolutely no doubt about that. It's base in combat as well, which obviously would be nice to get involved in. We'll see what happens. But it looks like Gurney's just going to take long with the fighters here. 
Looks like that is the plan. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's hard for him to have seven. Don't know. I can't be asked. Look at his, his discard. Yeah, his, his, his convincing's in there, so. I don't know. It's kind of a weird move, that assembly hall. We'll see what happens. Nice to see the two knife people blow, absolutely blowing out here at Imperial Basin. So I guess that's cool. Yeah, she's got to go secrets. She won't turn yet, I don't think, because of she she's holding on to that to obviously try and get a big card. Wow. Okay. That's a strange move. Has he got like the spy pull con? I don't know. That's a very bizarre move. I don't know what that's about. Cheers, John. Um, so we've got an interesting choice of what we want to do here. We could just go Spice Refinery. It's good value for it. We don't have to use Truth Trance. It's only doable we can get to, so we're probably meant to just go Spice Refinery and just limp it in here. And just take uh, and just take third place. It can't be it can't be a bad result here. I would like as well. The problem is I then need to get the water still. I don't have any troops in. I haven't been to a deployment spot. So I think I think refinery is the is the correct move here. Let's just get that water. And then next round we probably draw our ring. We can just blast it in at research station uh, and try and get to overthrow. I do, but I'd rather just uh, go refinery and get cash. We got to think of sword masters as well. I think this is this is okay. Free free to buy. Double agent comes. I do like double agent. Double agent's a nice little card, by the way. And I think we'll take it. So Gavis of Water is fine, but I think this is this is I'd rather be generating money than spending it right now. Okay. Arakeen is next. So Diplo is coming. We basically get to see what Jessica does. There's a ton of spice at Hagger Basin. A lot of weird moves going on. <sighs> Jessica's going reset station. I know she is. She can only, I mean, she might go that way, but I'm rather her do that. It's a tricky spot. Hagger Basin, obviously, there's plenty to gain. But I'm also just giving Staban 
Lost the bunk and get Swordmaster whenever he wants. I think this is a combat worth fighting for you, Arakeen. I think I think we have to we have to blast it in here at research station. And we have to throw in Shadam's favor as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not the best draw in the world. And if Saban goes Hagger Basin, he's not getting a lot of value. He's, he's, his spy's not doing anything, so, you know. But I think we had to hit that. I mean, it's a fight we have to go in for here at Arakeen. There's absolutely no, no choice to it. We've got a couple of daggers, which is good. What on earth is our next move? That I don't know. I, I have no idea. I've not been following Stabana at all. If he can't count, then that's his own problem. Yeah. She was going research station. Definitely was going research station. Does Gurney have seven? If Gurney's got seven, there's worlds he might just reveal here. He's thinking about it. If the bar wants to blow it in at Highliner, he can do that. Like I honestly don't care. We've charged a price. We get Swordmaster if we lose the fight, so I don't really care. He's going to try and draw, so... No. Right, we've already got to pull. We've got four cards. So it's Dagger, Truth Trance, Convincing, and Double Agent. I'm thinking, like, go and accept contract. One and four gets us to overthrow. Two and four probably gets us to fighters. And one out of four, we just completely whiff. I feel like we're meant to do something. It sucks to give up the diplomacy here. But I feel like we're meant to do something. I think except contract for like the water can't be bad. I mean, yeah, but I'm not getting desert power. Someone's someone's getting desert power. I cannot assume I'm going to get it. So I think we're meant to take an action. So let's take an action. We do pull double H, which is another dagger, by the way. Uh, we'll take the water. If the barn is going to blast it in, if he's got somehow got his, his faction access, or oh, I thought we already used it. Yeah. So, hopefully we get to fighters. Nope. Jessica had the seven. Does Gurney have the six? We're unlucky if that's the case. But I, I think I think except contract was the right move. I think we had to do something with it. And, and again, one out of four, we hit overthrow as well. I think I think it was worth it. So I feel like we've just kind of basically been rolling dice for two and a half rounds. That's kind of how I feel this game's been. We've basically just been having to, to roll dice. Um, and if you don't roll dice as good as other people, you don't roll dice as good as other people. And that's the way it goes down. 
So we get a desert power, which will be useful later. And we'll just have to play it out from here, basically. We have to obviously raise enough cash to uh, get there. So we've just got to make sure we've got enough cash for Swordmaster next round, which we already do. So, like, we don't have to worry about that. We've just got to make sure we have the access, basically. Imperial Basin is loaded with spice. And I think we just, if 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 first uh, Gurney doesn't go there, I think we hit it. But I don't know what Gurney's going to do. Okay. Praise it is. So he's going to score a lot of points here. There's nothing we can do to stop that. Um, I think we have to just Desert Power Basin. We get five spice. We maybe even consider, like, blasting at Highline at once in the Blue Moon. We'll see what happens, but I think there's no other logical move here. I think the two troops have got to go in anyways. It does, but I'm getting five spice. I'm giving him two. Like, that's good enough for me. No, I don't really care. He can't go to shipping. He's got limited faction access. He can't get to Emperor, I don't think, and I don't think he can. He's got, he's got, he's got his um thingy. He's Stabarn Tuek wants to go Highliner here. That's what he's planning for. He's going. He wants to go Highliner. That's why he's looking at Gurney's deck here. That's a good point. Why did he trash his dagger? Why did you? Why did you trash that? No, no reason. I, I can't be one. Getting carried away, I think. Yeah, good spot. Stabarn two X going highliner. That's what's happening here. He's got he's got his reliable, the one that gives the spy. So he wants to go highliner here. Pure Basin is a maker space. So Gurney's going deep desert. I think we have to highline. I think we have to stop Gurney Halleck here. And we have to blast him. The only question is what strength do we spend? And why is it everything? I think we have to. Like, because Stabarn's just going to highline instead. And I need to stop both of them. I cannot let Gurney Halleck win this. We have to go for it. So we're highlining. And if anyone's got a problem with that, uh, I've got water, so we're just highlining. Because if I wasn't doing it, someone else was. We have to blast him. That was obviously what the barn's getting ready for. Let me get the water out. It's basically like the old-fashioned Highlander. That's the one thing with the water line of contract is that it kind of turns Highlander into the old-fashioned spot. Get a bunch of spice. Go high and put a ton of troops in. Get your water back sort of thing. Makes it old school. Um, Because this is still a good conflict for us. Um, we still get the bump. Um, and we just take tons of denial. I do not want either of them winning this. It's It's okay for us. We get the water back anyway. So if I don't have the water, the water contract, I probably don't do it. But I get the water back. So it's massive denial for both of them. Massive denial. Jessica's got overthrow. So if we're going to go for an alliance, we have to choose it early and go for it. Gurney's at six. Nothing he can do there. We have four. Do you want to buy anything here? I don't think I do. I don't think anything's good for us here. Yeah, yeah, I'm not interested. Nothing here is going to help us win this game. It's a good conflict for us anyways. The bump is useful because it gets us the siege. 
Like, we can now go Siege Swordmaster, for example. We can look at doing that. Um, and we have the water to go Deep Desert as well. So we can go... Paragons I was considering, but I, I don't really think it's going to help us enough. I don't think I'm going High Council a lot this game. So, I think it's just cluttering up our deck. I don't think it's going to help us enough. So... But yeah, that's the idea here, is basically now we can go Seat Sword Master Deep Desert if it's not a World Conflict, for example. So, Jessica's got all the persuasion. I'm not even going to count it. It's not really worth it. But um, Jessica might become favourite in the midst of all this mess here. But this does so much damage to Gurney. Like, I think this is well worth denying. I think it had to be done. And now we match with any future conflict as well, which is the nice thing. Like having the symbols in theory doesn't look the best, but now we match everything. And Gurney cannot go to me and say, oh, I'm happy with second place. He wanted to win this. Coordination comes with a nice little card. I think that was worth making the denial. So we'll see what we draw. Now, the danger is we do occasionally lose Swordmaster by going Siege first, but I feel we should go Siege first. It's a no one, it's a no one conflict. Stabarn's missed his Highline access. Gurney might Highline back at us. That's the only problem here. Gurney might Highline back at us now. But we have to Siege. I think we have to siege. We have to do it while we can. So Gurney can't block us. And it gets Desert Power working later on. So I think this is uh, an automatic move. Now, I, I think we're only losing to a couple of intrigues. And Jessica might not even play it anyways because she's got a spy there. So it's only really Gurney we're that worried about. Jessica might sometimes. But it's okay. I'm willing to take the risk here. Yeah. So Jessica, I think, is going to be favorite here, by the way. Because her deck is just completely insane. She's going to be seeing, seeing Overthrow so much. Um, you know, her deck is just kind of absurd. It's way better than anyone else's in this game. Like, there were two big cards. She's got both of them. So, I think Jessica is, is massive favorite in this match. If she can just pair up her conflicts, I think she should be good. I don't think either of us are going to be able to outscore here. But we'll see what happens. Besides, also occasionally Jessica goes high council anyways and doesn't sword master, so Yeah. Discarding the Diplo tells you the story of what she's drawing. So like I say, she's The only thing she does need she does need sword master though. Like her deck's really strong. So So and that goes. So we get our sword master. And we get to see. Now, the question is, if we do if Deep Desert, do we actually want a Deep Desert this fight? That's the question. I don't know. It's not a great conflict for us, truthfully. So, we'll see what happens. But we're not favourites in this game. There's, there's no way we're favourites. If we win it from here, we've played really well. I mean, in theory, I get the troops back. I don't know. But we have options. Research stations there. We've got privilege. You know. The 
The problem is, is, we, is Staban is going to probably highline next round. That's the issue. If we wait until next round, Staban probably just highlines. Um, and that's the issue here, is that he's got buckets of spice. He's going to be kept giving spice because of basins, because of the basins. He's just going to keep highlining, so it makes winning very, very difficult. So it's, it's one of those, as I said, I, I don't feel like we've done really anything wrong, but we are nowhere near favorite in this match. Not even, not even close. Wow, she did have the money. You see, she had the money intrigue, but it was more important for her to go frame kit. I told you that occasionally she'd do that. But yeah, she's just trashing her deck like if I don't know. Then all we can do is is start getting our faction points. Uh, maybe try and find an alliance somewhere. There's Gurney's highliner. Told you it was coming. So it makes our decision nice and easy. Told it was coming. Now, did Staban have his Highlander access to this hand, or is it coming next round? Oh, he had it. As twice now, Staban has had his Highlander access and has uh, not got there. That's pretty significant to know. That's good for next round. That's good knowledge. It's very good knowledge. Because as I say, Staban is like close to infinite spice in this game. Here comes the overthrows. Yeah, it's just, you know. Our goal in this match is to not be last. That's, that is the goal. If we are not last in this game, I'll say that we've done well. Because I, but our deck is nowhere near the quality of any of the, our opposition. Has he got a spy one? Well, he must want what he's got. Uh, again, I just don't see the point of buying anything, really. It's just a waste of time. Oh, he had both of them. That's why he drew both. <laughs> wow. I didn't, I didn't forget he had both. Yeah. So that's our objective is in this game, is to not be last. If we're not last, I'll say we've done all right. Because red's just completely cracked. Um, and, like, should be his, his massive favorite here. Massive favorite. I don't think who we chose would have made a difference. Like, I could have picked, like, Margot. Like, I don't see what difference it would have made here. Believe me, Blue, I'm not the person you should worry about here. It's it, red, Red's massive favorite, you know. <laughs> I'm not the problem. We do pull double agent, which is nice. It sieches. We don't pull desert power. Stabon would have to draw for the access. I think he's going research station for Highliner. That's what he's looking at here. Ugh, God's sakes. Yeah, he's going Siege research station Highliner is what Stabon's doing here. Yeah, this is just so, so miserable, this. <laughs> I think we have to research station. I don't think going deep desert's worth it at this point. I just don't think there's a lot of lot of, lot of point here. We have to block the barn from getting there. We have to go at least research station, deny the draw, um, and kind of play it from there. We get some money back as well, which could be of use. Um. Yeah, and Jessica's just being basically just unobstructed here. She's just basically allowed to do whatever she wants here. Like, like red, 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 reds. Yeah. I say we're just trying not to lose. Be last here. So we have to go research station. Um, I 
think we use double agent as well. I just don't... I, I just think we have no option. If we have to draw some cards and see what we can do. But my, she's just... Yeah. Anyways. Um... So, yeah, it's just kind of... It's not quite going through the motions here, but it's like... You know, what are you going to do? Uh, put it there. This is high council options, interestingly. I'm not any good. Is three troops for two spice worth it? Probably. Yes, the barn clearly was going there. It was an obvious move. Fortunately, we also missed everything. We missed Desert Power. We missed our ring. Yeah, we missed a lot of stuff. We can still go Siege Deep Desert because of the spy. Because I didn't want to play Recon there. If I if we draw a lot of big cards, I then don't use Double Agent. I wanted to guarantee use of it. So it's it's um because if we're gonna put a spy down, I can also recall it with Spy Master. So I think it's Siege Deep Desert. I have to at least threaten Deep Desert. Um Hagger Basins was just sitting there, but I don't really care about that. Is the barn going to go deep desert to block us? He might. But what am I going to do? I have... I, what, what am I going to do? Jessica's going to win the game anyways. Like, she's monumental favorite in this. I have to go Siege anyways. I've got no real better move. I might as well recall the spy and pull an intrigue. Um, let's see what we pull. It's good for later, maybe. So we don't need to put anything in here. If he goes deep desert, he goes there. I assume he's going there to block. Oh, he's got worms. I When did he get... Oh, he just got them. Okay, that's cool. My, my mindset immediately is not the best because I'm like kind of, you know, it's like whatever. But we have, we have to hit there. Uh, so, with that being the case, we just, yeah, just hit faction, I guess. Maybe go... Dutiful, perhaps? Yeah, she's just finding overthrow, like, every, every round. It's just completely ridiculous. Like, and it, it's just, uh, it's unfettered scoring, so... Like, there's just no stopping it. Which is the sad part of this. Like, it's not even... It's not even close. I mean... I can go High Council whenever. High Council doesn't get me anything right now. Gets you from 5 Persuasion to 7. What am I going to do with that? I don't think it really matters. Truth be told, kids. I think it's largely irrelevant. Um, is it worth me going Worm here at Hagger Basin? Doofle's been blocked as well. Nah, let's just go Secrets. I don't really care at this point. Just hit Factions and 
just call it a day. Like the, the match is over. Like I, that's that's not me being surly. That's just me being realistic. This this match is over. Like we're not. There's no way we're going to catch Jessica here. It's just not possible. So I'm kind of not too worried about this one. I think I'm impressed at least at secrets is what I would have found anyways. So. I'm not too worried about the extra spice. It's fine. My impress, anyways. We'll see. Oops. Uh, four to buy. Again, the row is just absolutely nothing. That's the problem here. The row is just complete garbage now. Like, she's just got such a comprehensive advantage over us. It's not even... I do think we are destined for last place here, by the way. I don't see what we can really do. Basin comes up. But like, the problem is we just we how do we win any match here? How do we win any fight? Because it's just it's just all a high line. <laughs> of course that's our truth trance. <laughs> I knew it was. <laughs> oh dear. So, it's like whatever. At this point, it doesn't matter, does it really? Like, what do you even do here? I guess I just. I don't even know what's what what I'm meant to do here. Like it's all just so worthless. I guess we just go um we just go shipping, I guess. Sure. This game th uh, look. This game's over. <laughs> How am I going to win this? I can't win a combat. <laughs> so Barnes just highlighting every round here. We've got no deck. I've got no cards. I got nothing. I just have nothing here. Like, I'm being realistic. Jessica is overthrowing every single round with long lived fighters. It's over. I can't worm. There's, there's the walls up. There's, there's not much point in putting it up here at the moment. I, I, I might as well wait. Like, I might as well pull special mission to Desert Power. I also don't have any spies down, so I can't use special mission to blow the wall. And if I go Siege. Saban just goes deep desert anyway, so there's there's no wormy to be done here. Research I was tempted to do, but I'd rather just get some faction points here. We just have to score some points. That's all we can really do at this point. I mean, when when Irulan is trashing Calculus of Power, that tells you the state of her deck. So... That's it. This is me being realistic. Like, we... How can I ever win this match? All I can do is just score a couple of random points. We find a, we find a matching pair end game, so that's nice. That's why I want to get intrigues. It'd be nice. We can at least try and pair some stuff. Well, I was tempted to Imperial Privilege, but I'm just going to hit pit secrets, and you know, I'm not too worried about privilege right now. It's not an, it's not an urgency. I also don't really want to give shipping to my opponents. But yeah, we're just at a comprehensive disadvantage, and it's not one we're going to... Bar some craziness, it's one I can't see how we ever really recover from. So the bar has infinite spice. And yeah, Jessica's just overthrowing every every round. You know. That's right, there it is. That's that is that is four overthrows in a row. What do you do about that? There is nothing you can do about that. It's just completely 
completely absurd. So, let's go privilege. And we'll see what happens. Let's get rid of... Uh, I'm, I'm never getting anything out of that. It's not even worth it. That looks better than it is. I've got to get a bump, which I might be able to do, I guess. Problem is, like, it's, yeah, it's just, it's... Again, like, I have no way of generating worms. It's, it's a wall conflict, guys. And I have no spies to, to, to lift. I've got no spy generation. I, I have nothing. I have I have nothing. I readily accept that I have nothing. The only thing we can do is basically just um Guess we just hag a basin with desert power and just just get the spies together. Maybe even get like five more. Where would I get the water from is the problem. Siege makes more sense, I think. Yeah, blow the wall makes more sense, I think. We have to we have to try and fight for it. Now Atomics Let's just I guess we'll take that for the lulls. But yeah, unfortunately two big cars went early and then it was just I hope we just pick up five spies here. Okay, that's cool. Five spies for two troops isn't bad. I can't work. Oh, I could have thrown a worm. Yeah, I guess. Ah, it doesn't matter. I admittedly, I'm not. I'm not mentally 100 in this. It's fine. But I guess you're probably right. I could have done that. Never mind. Um, I guess I was like, oh, priority contracts have got two of them. I don't know. Okay. Arakeen is the worst conflict it could have been because we've already got the matching pair and we have no spice. <laughs> now I don't think it's worth us highlighting. I don't even think it's um I don't think it's worth highlighting. Oh well. I think we're best off just trying to get um Spice Must Flow. There's no point in us getting involved in this conflict. There's so little to be gained here. I think we're better off just going like research station, put the spy down, go siege. Um, maybe get to high council and just try to get uh, spice must flow. Street stop piling, get to eight points. No one's going frame kit. We also do need to go frame kit as well, but no one, no one's going frame kit here. I don't think. So we're gonna start off with uh, research station. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I mean, if you're going to draw dirt, you might as well draw dirt now. I mean, not of this conflict. Not of this conflict. Mm. 
Like this confit, max I can score is two points. Because I've already got the match. So, any of the other conflicts, maybe, but not off, not off this conflict. Like, I'm glad in a way to see this. It means that I, I don't have to worry. And I can just crack on. But yeah, this is just completely ridiculous. You know. Completely ridiculous. Just, I, I trust you to take out the correct card. Just, it's fine. Just do it yourself. I trust you to sort yourself out. Well, I'm sure you can probably suss out what they what they were or what he just pulled. I just don't want to rewind. Not at this point. <laughs> eh. So it's frame kit privilege. Um, or do I go privilege first? I don't think anyone's going frame kit. I just don't see it happening. No one's going frame kit, especially if I pull off research station. No one's going. No one's going here, so I think we can just uh, we can just privilege and just get it done. Uh, we don't need that. Spiral, all right. There we go. That's a good intrigue. <coughs> so we can probably get to like. We might get to nine, which I don't think is going to be enough to uh, not be fourth anyways. But I should have put the worm in the last round. That wasn't ideal, but it's. I don't think that it made a big. It's going to make a ton of a difference here. If we'd a high line, we'd never have got to research station. So, I'm happy just to kind of chalk this up as a shrug game, move on. Maybe I could have done a couple of things more accurately, but it's not one I'm too worried about. Uprising can be like that sometimes. Doing Imperium can be like that sometimes. You just shrug and say whatever. You know, if you get free alliances and uprising and you're scoring multiple spice plus flows, you just you just win the game. And she might have end games as well, so I, I think this one If if she gets overthrow and she gets long the fighters, like you just win. You know. You just win. Most often than not. I don't think there's anything we could have done about much about this. Somehow no one's gone research station by the way, it's kind of funny. Uh, so we can actually go siege if we want. We don't. Well, we still need to go frame kit, I guess. I guess we just hit frame kit and call it a day. So we will get. Uh... Like eight points, I think. But yeah, this is a, this is a shrug game. Ugh. I don't think... Unless we find any more matching combats, there's not much we can do. Yeah, it's possible. Like, we are... We are... Country mile, we're fourth place here. Like, a country mile fourth. 
and it's been that way for a while so right we just we have no we have no edge in this game we got nothing so this is a this is a shrug yeah it sounds about right like and the thing is i say i feel like the first two rounds i think we played them about as well as we could have done we just missed every draw we missed long the fighters we missed long the fighters and overthrow again like we just missed all our draws and if you miss all your draws and then the row just goes super quiet like what's our best card in our deck i think our best card in our deck is this <laughs> you know desert power got us some spice cool we've pulled this twice by the time we use it our deck is nothing so no we were never anywhere near in this game like it's just a total shrug this is the sort of game that if i was placing a competition i just you know well if you mean that then i should just retire and call it a day like it's just it don't really you know it just doesn't really matter We just chuck it in for what it's worth. Uh, I mean, it's something. I'm gonna get a couple of end game intrigues here. I'll we'll get one, maybe. But yeah, it's just comical. Like over there, like what do you do about any of this? It's just not even. Not even a worry. Oops, I didn't mean to press that. Oops. Yeah, I, I'm good. I got nothing. I got nothing. Nothing interesting. Yeah. All right. Cool. Let's go find another game, kids. I mean, she didn't need to. She did not need to. Deck was completely absurd. Like, you know. <laughs> Whatever. Uh. So. Do a bit of that. Do a bit of this stuff here, sorry. The problem is, it's like, I can't even, like, what am I supposed to learn from that match? You know, it's not even a, it's not even a learn for me. It's just a complete, like, whatever. So, whatever. I would have got plus five spice. I guess. I also then wouldn't have got the... I don't think I would have been able to get the stockpiling points, so... Well, I mean, I would have gone... I wouldn't have been... I would have gone research station, I guess. I researched it, trying to find spots if I missed that anyways and pulled... Eh. Yeah, as I said, I... I... In a game like that, I just... Mentally, I'm not worried. <laughs> and I don't... I don't really think about that, so... Yeah, right, immediately. And that's that's the way it is sometimes. Like, that's just a... I'm just going to chat with you guys for, like, 20 minutes and not too worried too much about it. Eh, oh well. It wasn't particularly accurate. So be it. <laughs> I'm 
Push this freaking cough would shift. That'd be nice. <laughs> yeah, I've watched them sometimes. Like, I came third place in, like, my tournament game. Although I watched that back and I don't think I really did anything wrong. Just, just got some bad draws. And then, like I say, I think the first two rounds, I think we played pretty good. You know, we maximized our chances at hitting everything. We just missed everything. We missed every single draw. We missed we missed long of the fighters round one. We missed fighters and we we realized we blocked Jessica from research station round two because she was going for the cards. Round three, we had odds at both long of the fighters and overthrow and missed them. <laughs> What do you do? You know, if you just keep missing your draws and all the power cards go and then you have no deck, you don't win the Uprising. Like, you need good cards in this game. And we, we, we tried for all of it. Like, I could have maybe eked out an extra point somewhere or another, but I, I'm not overly upset about it. It wouldn't have really made a particular difference in that one. Like, it was, you know... I don't think, you know, we, 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 we had to hit it early. We missed it all. And that was it. We're, we're consigned to defeat at that point. We're never going to catch when Jessica's got, pulls all the power cards. Um, and Blue has unlimited spice and just is, can just highline almost whenever he wants. Blue can feel hard done by, truthfully. Like, he actually had a shot on winning it. But our shot on winning that game was to pick up those cards the first couple of rounds. And we missed all our draws. So we don't win. And that's that's how it goes. I'm okay with that. Can't win them all. Definitely can't win them all. So you know that's that's okay. You know, dust down wasn't our game. Start again. And, uh, you know. <coughs> I mean, you think back to, like, when I did that massively long stream, like, I did not commit the same, like, level of, admittedly, of attention to everything. Because you, you, cause I, sometimes I just can't, you know. There's not a time difference, but I don't know, it's just what it is. Anyways, let's start again. Just shake that one off, restart, and, uh, you know, try again here. Red seat for us this time. The thing is, well, this game is that sometimes I also feel that there are times where, like, you don't necessarily make the best decisions, but I don't think the table really lets you make the best decisions. Because you just don't get the ability to make the good decisions. You know, it's like, at the towards the back of the game, like, what good choices do I have? I don't have any, because I just have nothing, so. You know, if Double Agent is probably the best card I had all game, that tells you the story of how it went. You know, just a, a bit of a catastrophe. So it's like, whatever. We gave our spins. Spun the wheel a couple of times. If we miss everything, we miss everything. Right, what do we got there this time? Highliner, recent. Is it like, I mean, thinking like, could I pick another leader and that been different? I think, honestly, no. Didn't make the right calls, just didn't hit him. Um, Highliner and research station, both pretty good. Both expensive, though. Revolt, Watermaster. I think I'm meant to take Fade. Both the Dagger people are, are at the back of the order, which is a bit awkward. So even if it's like the mouse conflict, like it's really hard to win because they might decide to just go in anyways. If it's like Gurney or something. Um, so I know I'm meant to pick Fade. I don't really see what else I can do. The problem is all the other Spileys are out there. But I do get first crack at it. So we'll take Fade. Okay, well, there was at least one was out there. We'll see how we go. All right. Opening hand is double faction. It's the... Yeah, okay.
Position one is just hard. I don't think position one is is kind of kind of difficult. Um, do we have an alternative rather than just going Fremen here? I know we're meant to just go Frem Kit, but I don't really want to. I want to do something different. I might go deliver Dutiful. Well, if, in theory, he's going to be able to get there anyways, right? If he just pulls the one faction access. Like, it doesn't really matter. what I didn't want to see with the ring. I didn't want to see that. Like if he's got his if he's got the the single factions, he gets her anyways. No, I, I it's just being in first position just is really rough. And uprising, I do think. Yeah, I guess. Like I just, I just don't want to feel like I've got to go frame kit every single time. You know, like I, I, it's, it's like you know, it's, it's like it takes me back to like Rise of X. Everyone just hits fold space immediately. You know, like I feel like there should be, there's got to be more different options. Just insta frame kit, you know. I guess this is what it is. Uh, let's go secrets and see what we find. It's not the worst intrigue for us. We pull weakness. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Problem is, we've obviously pulled our signet ring, so I can't even like say, oh, we can pair it with signet ring, go for the next conflict. We, we don't have it. So... And obviously, I'm not going to get any spice on this, so I can't go espionage. Um, so this is... Uh, yeah, that Signet Ring's a pretty poor draw. It's the worst card we could have found by a distance. Anything else I would have preferred. Even the Dagger I would have taken. At least the Dagger I can then use Five Weakness and win this if I want to. But, yeah. What are you going to do? So... You're not going to fight us for the money. I might just use Fine Weakness here. Depending on how these daggers boil down, I, I legit might just do it and recycle this Intrigue. We'll see. Uh, we're going to take Covert. Let's uh, go give Steelgar to people, shall we? Irulan wants Steelgar, right? <laughs> Margo gets gifts. Sorry. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, this is going to get pretty dull. Oh, she, oh, she, yeah, she doesn't have enough. I do feel like if Guild Spy just didn't have get the spy on its acquisition, I think you'd be fine. It's the fact it gives the spy as well. You just immediately jam espionage and that's it there for the rest of the game. You know, that's is what it is. I, 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 yeah. There's no point us tying Muad'Dib here. It's not worth it. Do pull contingency, which could be nice. Let me redraw our ring or something. It is a matching conflict. Hmm. We might be able to win this. And by might, I mean... I'm pretty sure we can win this.
We probably have to. Right? It's a matching pair. Contracts are both decent at the moment. They're not both. It's not likely they both go. I think we have to commit ourselves to this and be prepared to spend some some intrigues. But I think it's worth making a punt for. Not the best pull. I think we just put in the one troop here. We're gonna de-escalate the fight to take it away later, basically. I think it's the best we've kind of got here. Let me shift the camera, kids. Sorry. Yeah, this is good. This is very good. Hagger Basin, is that the move for us here? Might as well. Like, we're at five. We can't get to six. I think Hagger Basin, we just take the spice. Can't be a bad move, right? Could accept contract. But I think we should take the spice. I think we need to take the spice. I think that's important here. We're going to get the water back anyway, so let's go grab the spice and uh, get ourselves some resources. This gives us like spice refinery options, stuff like that. So we're going to have to rip find weakness. So I get one spy wherever I want it. Which is probably going to go to like the council spot. And then the other spy doesn't matter. Although I am meant to block up factions because of guild spy. Strike fleet came off and the captured man tap. Which is really unfortunate for us. There's not much we can do there. So... We get one spot to block. It's gotta be it's gotta be council. I think council is important here. Saying that we're in front of Mardiv to any person with any money though. So maybe we just block up Fremen here. I guess Fremen's better. Um but yeah, four is unfortunate. Um I guess we just go Yeah, it's unfortunate. Let's just take a prepare and move on here. And we'll find weakness and... Or do I use contingency here? I guess we use contingency. We don't need to use find weakness right now. Alright. So we at least take this down. Get the water. I think the Highlander contract is superior here. It's close. I mean, there's also a possible ability, but I think it's like... Let's give ourselves some just some options here. Like, we've got more spy generation coming from our ring. So we're in no immediate rush. We also need to, in theory, guarantee our way to Fremen anyways, right? Then we get the Earthen Mouse, yeah. I'm busy talking, that's why. Uh, that one. There's a shorthand people do. I've tried to make it work. I can't seem to make it work, so. Problem is, these spies probably just have to sit here. Which is not very interesting, sadly, because of Guild Spy. But that's just kind of is what it is. So, next up is Shadow Contest. Now we have a game on. Now we've got 
something going here. Like, we're already in a better spot than we were in the last game. Like, throughout the entire match. We actually have something to have a play at here. Uh, yellow's got it. Hence why they're just blocking our factions. Hence why I need to keep them blocked. I don't think she's got any spy generation outside of um, her ring and espionage. I don't think she's got anything that generates spies on factions. So we don't have to keep our spies there. We just have to get, bear in mind that we only spend spies once they're gone. Now, double frame kit looks good. Well, I expect Wadib's just going to go siege deep desert. There's nothing we can do to stop that. We could also go Spice Refinery. We've got a few options here. I feel like Fremkit can't be a bad move here. And I think we can pull the Spy. And we probably just put it straight back. There's cards to play for here. Mentat, Strike Fleet, and Arrakis Revolt are all good. So I think we have to make the double draw and try to get to them and see how we, we work out here. I think it sounds good. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, that's not a bad pull. We pull pretty decent. There's no need to get involved right now. Yeah. So Assembly Hall looks good, except Contract looks good. Arakeen we're never getting to, so I'm not even worrying about that. Yeah, I'm not worried about committing here, because Mardeep's just going to blast it in, surely, a lot of the time. <coughs> That's a strange contract to take. Yeah, I guess it's your own arm. So Assembly Hall looks good. I don't think we can't use the ring. I think we have to go Assembly Hall. And I think Wardeeb is going to put in his troops anyways, wherever he goes. So I don't need to worry about it. I think Assembly Hall gives a, keeps us the six, gives us some intrigues, put the spy back. It's good to me. That is a huge pull. We have to take Strike Fleet, right? We have to take Strike Fleet. I do want Captured Mentat, believe me. It's a great card, but I think Strike Fleet is just superior. And now we can spy up like Hagger Basin as well. Yeah. That's a, that's a good pull. Okay, now we're in some business here. Whichever one he goes to, like he's, I think he's putting in the other troop anyway, so... Exactly. I think he's deep desert in blasting anyway, so I, I wasn't too worried about Margo. Margo might have, like, a retreat um, contract, but Muad'Dib was never not blasting it in at deep desert here. Never not blasting it in. So Margo is denied strike fleet, which is good. Because she was playing for it. So she has to take Captured Mentat, which means Irulan doesn't get Captured Mentat, which is important because it's one of her best cards in the entire game. Yep, they were both going for them. So Millipate was huge there. That was a real big result. And now Irulan has got five here. Probably has to just take Truth Trance or something. Yep. That was a big pull for us. We've got seven Persuasion, actually. I didn't actually have to go Assembly Hall, but well, we did. So we get Strike Fleet for four. And we've still got free Persuasion if I want, like, Reliable Informant, which does look not bad. We've got the, um, the Spy there. Is Reliable good for us? Four, six... We are Fade. We're going to be doing some trashing. I think we can take that. I think that's okay. Take some pressure off Diplomacy. So yeah, so now we're in business here. Now we're in, in business on this game. Wadim's going to get coordination. You'll, you can live with that. Blue and green are tied, by the way. 
So we'll see what happens. See if Margot did have the retreat contract. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! It's a blob buff. I don't know. I, I do not know. I don't have an answer to that question. It's like 11 or 12 or something. So Blue's got to work out what they're going to do here. Currently, they're tied third. So Blue is working out what they want to do here. Tactical option is just going to recall them and give Mardib the intrigues. Wow. That's pretty juicy. That's... Mm, I don't agree with that. I think Irulan should be tying the conflict there. I, I don't know if I like that. Like, you deny Mardib two intrigues, and you deny Margo the win. Like, I think I prefer tying, the, tying that up, but that's just me. Well, whatever, I guess. Mardib will feel he's been in profit there. Refinery is next. Do pull covert operation. We pull a decent hand. We do need to get to persuasion with the Bene Gesserit. Um Espionage isn't great for us, because obviously we're maxed on spies. That's that's the 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 the, the obvious first move. It depends basically does Irulan draw access and does she decide to do it herself? Okay, so she's gonna go for the um She's gonna go Emperor and do it that way. That's cool. So it will be a secret steal for us. get some stuff going here we still shadow alliance on wad when we pick up cho and profits hmm. okay A little awkward. Show and profits really hard to see how we're ever going to cash that in. So Wadib goes espionage. The thing with Margo though is Margo might be okay with just having two spies. Because, of course, if she's got all the spies on the faction, her ring's not doing anything. But she's got guild spies, so she might just simply not care. I don't know. We'll see how it plays out. Anyways, so... The problem is, is she's got espionage. But espionage is blocked. So she, if she ever goes espionage, she's just going to replace the... In she's going to replace the spy there. I don't think she'd give up the spy for another faction. She's running up for research station. We're not getting involved in this fight, I don't think. The two spice is good, though. Is the two spice worth, like, giving up a spy for? I don't know. At this point, I don't know what our best move is. We've got Deliver Supplies. We've got Frem Kit. And we've just got Hagger Basin itself. We have to play covert operation. There's no reason not to. The problem is, is I feel like I've got to get some spice here. Because um, we've got our Highline card coming soon. So, Hagger Basin, we don't have to recall this. We could just go Hagger Basin and just take the spies. I feel like we have to get the spies, though, and I feel like maybe we should just go Frem Kit. I don't know, it's a tough call, this. If I go Frem Kit, I probably have to use Five Weakness to get my way to the, um, to the spies. Difficult call. Difficult call. Siege is also there, but then we're not using covert operation. It's revealed as nothing. 
I'm not too worried about going to Siege right now. It's not it's not that important. I think Fremkit. We've got Shadow Alliance as well, so that gives us some insurance there. I think Fremkit is the go, and we'll pull both spy. We'll pull the spy. We'll force a discard here. We draw eight persuasion, by the way. We absolutely draw gobs of it. I'm looking for assets from Wild Eve. So we have to put this in, and we have to know we're probably going to have to sack off the uh, the spy at Highliner to use for fine weakness. But then we can always get the spy back on the Fremen when we Highline. So it's a bit of a complicated mess, this. Interesting that Moadi gave up undercover assets. I didn't, I'll be honest, I didn't even see it come out in the row. <laughs> well. No! Atomics! You know? What do you do about that? <laughs> what the hell do you do about that? That is ridiculous. So the hope now is Irulan goes in heavy. If Mardib doesn't blast it in here. And that we both deny him uh, a reward here. But I don't think that's going to happen. We have no swords. So... We'll have to see how this goes here. But we have got plus five for five weakness. And if we have to deny it... Nah, I'm not too worried about the hooks. Like, we can get them whenever. Irulan's going in. We know that. So the question is, what does Irulan do? And if Irulan goes in ahead of us, like, do we use five weakness to deny him deep? Like, I would. I would definitely deny him here if possible. We have to try and get this spice. I think it's important. And I know from Kit meant I was not so likely to get there. Yeah, as for buying cards, I don't know. Oh, she had Steelgar. Okay, so Steelgar and she just garrisons. Well, that's good. I think she was looking to go from Kit with that. Okay, now I feel pretty happy with my decision. So yeah, we've got eight persuasion. Erected Revolt seems like the obvious pick. Yeah, it's got to be this. Uh, is there anything else I'd want to take here? 6, 8, 13. I think that's plenty fine. Wadib was after it. He gets Corinth instead. I don't mind Wadib getting Corinth. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's too late now. Unfortunately, I kind of do want to deny Wardeep here, but there's not much I can do. Margo, of course, just guild spying away as you do. Guild, it's say if guild spy didn't have the get the spy on acquire bonus, it'd be fine. I actually think the card would be okay if it didn't have that spy. I think it'd be probably about right. It's just that you get it, you just start putting spies down immediately, and there's nothing in between. Is kind of ridiculous anyway. So, Mardi's going to get even more intrigues here. He's absolutely loaded with these. So, if it's... So, we'll see what the conflict is, and we'll kind of play it as we see it. We have no matching symbols, of course, which isn't ideal. Just a loyalty. Okay. Yeah, you see, uh, and you see immediately, Margot's just like, ah, oh, just put the spies on all the factions. Yeah, you know, it's just, it's, this is, I, I really dislike Guild Spy. It's just such a, it just encourages just boring gameplay. Unfortunately. So, we have to go siege. I'm just trying to construct the rest of our, our, our round here. Oh, 
Oops, sorry. Um, we need a trasher, a dagger. We have to go for some... We're putting these troops in regardless, so... Get rid of the dagger, wherever it is. Oh, do I not have any daggers? Huh. Oh, yeah, it's over there. I think I was actually meant to use Recon to do that. And then use my try and use my signet ring at Hager Basin. Cause then I've got the swords behind me. Yeah, I have actually made a bit of a mistake there. Oh well. So let's But I guess I'm strike fleeting Hager Basin anyway, so. I think Guild Spy might be the only card in Uprising I have kind of a problem with. Like, all, there are others that are strong, obviously. But it's just Guild Spy just promotes this kind of, like, non-interactive gameplay, I feel. You just sit spies there and just get spies to slows and just win games. So we just strike for it and we're going to blast this in, right? Because we got the spies to put down later on as well if we win it. So we have to recall. Which does mean we draw, which is not ideal. Oh, buy a country mile. Buy a country mile. Better card than strike fleet. So... How much strength is enough? Like 11? How often is Irulan highlining here? Is the question I have to ask. How often is Muad'Dib highlining? I don't think Irulan does, unless she's got a way of getting the alliance. Muad'Dib's play coordination... I think this is too important a conflict, though, for us. So I think we just get it in. I mean, just don't worry about it. Not Vespal. Yeah, it's just a point. Eleven, twelve... No, I think just, just get it in. Don't worry about it. <coughs> just don't worry about it. Get it all in. If someone's going to come over the top of that, then, you know, so be it. Like, it's a point, it's money, it's spies... A little bit, yeah. But then eventually people have to give up their spies in this situation. And now Margot, like her ring is never going to be used. It's just an access card now. You know. That's it. it just is what it is, sadly. You know, it's it's the one card. Like I, The design of it, I think, is like, it's just that you get the spy immediately. So you just immediately spy espionage. And that's it. And if it just peels off in front of someone, like, you know, you can't control it. You know, and now she's high councils, and it's just, you know, it, it's it's the TM of old, sadly. It just does, like, she's getting two, she gets spice of flow, and she's getting, like, so many actions worth of value. Well, how do you stop this? That's the problem. It's not my problem anymore. Um, it's a free to buy. Um, I guess I'll take wheels. Yeah, wheels is alright. Do something with wheels. Make some money out of it. I don't know. It's something curious about. Like, I don't know. I never asked him. 
<coughs> Sorry. What are you going to do with it, you know? You just leave it there, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so the card just kind of is what it is, you know? Well, Margo missed, thankfully. Which is more fortunate than not. I don't know where our spies are going, by the way. I have no idea. I guess one has to go council. If that doesn't get taken ahead of us. Uh, Assembly Hall is also not the worst place in the world. And probably the city spot as well. So. Yeah. Council makes logical sense. Um, and I feel like the city is also a good place to send it. Just just for somewhere. Basin does make sense. And we've nowhere near shipping access. So call it down, call it a day. Basin's next. That's the good thing with at least giving up the Hagger Basin spy is we don't we don't have to you know we don't have to, to to go there, which is always nice. And we've always got the Highlander spy there as well, which is also good for us. So we do need to hit privilege at some point. It's going to prove to be difficult. Might be getting a lot of cheap second places here. Uh, third places, by the way, here. Which would be good. Because bear in mind, Margot's not got any... Um, yeah, she has to do this. So we're not so. The thing is, it's really hard for Margot to get involved. The, 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 there are issues here. So I kind of want to use this. This we can just reveal. We don't have to use that if we don't want to. Uh, prepare the way could be played. I don't, what's our last card? I've, I've not been tracking my deck at all. I have no idea what it is. Like Dune or Dagger or something. I have no idea what our next card is. I have a clue. We've got to try and make sure we get a third place with Rackers Vault, basically. Um, and we have to obviously grab some cash. We don't want to spend the spice. If we can help it. So let's prepare the way first, I guess. So at least we draw. That's convincing, okay. <coughs> yeah, I didn't want to spend the spice was all. I have to threaten highliners. By just passively threatening highliners, I'm forcing green and blue to commit four forces to this to this combat. Because I could highliner here, and like I get the spice back. Like I, I, it, it puts pressure on them, so I want to keep that as an option. I mean, yes, that's the one downside of Margot the way she's playing this. The one good thing is we have covert operations. We can occasionally scupper a um we can occasionally scupper a a guild spy move.
I think she's got nine. He's trying to work out, do I get Sword Mask or I just reveal? Maybe I should have played Covert first. It's fine. That's what they're looking at. Yeah, of course. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Well, let's find out. Yeah, it's in there, definitely. So, Covert Operation, we're going to play here. Yeah, that's why I also wasn't worried about Imperial Privilege. Um, we don't have to draw. We can leave the spy there. Which is fine, mate. So let's force a discard. That's how we, that's how we tell you discard a card in, in TTS. I just chuck the card onto there. Okay, she had a spice was fly. Okay. <coughs> we'll leave the spy there for now. So do we just... Um... I don't know. It's kind of a weird spot. They're busy battling over the Bene Gesserit. Mardeep's committing himself here. Good thing I've got his charm profits, right? <laughs> so we've got a couple of choices. We could... I don't know. We've got a few options here. We could revolt. We could desert tactics. We could high line. Margot's at eight. Margot didn't get there. Wow. But she's got um, she's got captured, so she's going to commit herself to try and winning that alliance, as you can see. But she's at eight. So she's going to hope to pull a draw here. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, it sucks not using Diplo, though. <laughs> but Siege, blow the wall and uh, send in the worm. This feels pretty good. Like, this fight is, this battle is very winnable. Oh, yeah, the wall is already blown, my bad, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, Mardu did it. Irulan is sitting on Highlander Axis, by the way. Look, if you're looking for Revolt, I've got it in my hand, all right? It's, it's, it's there. <laughs> if you're looking for my Faction Axis, I also have it, okay? <laughs> Yeah. That's the call. That's the call. It's it's not an, it's not obvious to know what to do here. I kind of feel like I need to keep the spies for next round. With coming to tier freeze, I I have to keep Highlander Access an option. We're not drawing. I've got, what, like, three cards that get me there? Four cards. Five cards that get me there. So a guaranteed Highliner, basically, next round. 
So we have to, whatever we do, we've got to make sure we keep enough spice. I feel like Desert Tactics and just, just get the Alliance. I don't want to draw. Although, is drawing that bad here? If we draw, we get free water. I think drawing's okay. I think we've got enough enough going on here. I think drawing's okay. We're going to draw. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, I have no troops, do I? Yeah, that's a good point. No, that's a fair point. Yeah, just I, it, just as you said that, I was like, oh yeah, of course. I'm not going to have any troops, so I can't get I can't get into the fight. <laughs> uh, I was like, oh yeah, the logic's good if I had any garrison. Oh, yeah, and then I'm not drawing, am I? Of course. My bad. Sorry, it's what happened. I pressed the wrong button. Yeah, one more was correct. Yeah, I, I, spent, I spent one to get there and then regained it from the Alliance. I had one, so I went down to zero, and the alliance gets back to back, back to one. So it was a bit of a messy round. Yeah. But yeah, we have to hold five spice, whatever we do. We have to hold that over people. Yeah. Let's see. Wow, we might even get to free water anyways. That'd be pretty sick. If we pull it. So we have five. Is there anything here that's good for us? Truthfully, I think the answer is no. I think we're good. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna pull it. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna charge him. I I feel like I'm gonna I'm just gonna do it. I've got so much firepower coming, it denies him a point, which I think is important. There's more spice. I'm happy to give up the the water here. It's not a big deal. It's a bit impulsive, maybe, but it denies him. And it now means that we match to more conflicts in the tier freeze as well. Now, as long as it's not the Chris knife, we match. So. We'll have it. Okay. Now, I want second place. Oh, he's got it if he wants it. Margot. Margot picked a public spectacle without it? She's got spectacle and spy. What? That's absolutely absurd. Okay. We do not pull Strike Fleet. We do not pull Strike Fleet. <coughs> That's fucking absurd. We're not going to be able to stop Margot scoring, um, scoring Guild Spy if she gets it. So... The question now is do we pull high do we pull the highliner spy? It's uh base and conflict, which isn't bad for us. Yep, she's in the high lines. So Unfortunately our hand is really awkward.
pretty bad draw this actually. Um, I guess Arakeen double draw. We just need options here, right? We also don't have to get involved here. Like we're always threatening it. Obviously, we're digging for like guild spy and stuff. So it's double draw. Pull a diplo. He has to do this now. The thing is, in a way, it's not so big a deal for us, like, going worm diving, because we have Arrakis Revolt. We're kind of in a weird spot, actually, here, where I don't know what... I, I might legit just go deliver supplies here. Because we need to get that bump anyways with the faction, right? One, two, three, four, six, seven. <coughs> and Wadi wants to go there a lot, right? He wants to go deliver supplies as well. He's still got to get his bumps there. So I think deliver supplies is an important spot to go if Irulan doesn't go there herself. Here comes Stilgar. So I think we go deliver supplies with coverts and we we block that up and get some more together. Let me just uh you know. Cause no one's gone there yet. Yeah, it doesn't make a difference to the the guard discard doesn't make a big deal. Interesting. Has he got diversion? No. Bear in mind, of course, we do have Shadow Alliance, so if we ever get threatened at the Fremen, like we still get the point back, so it's not a disaster. Bit unlucky he had change of the inches, actually. It was the right move to go deliver supplies. A little unlucky there. So. What do you want to do here? Could make a punt for research station. There's a lot of cards I don't want to see, though. Our next hand's got Straight Flea. It's got Revolt. It's got all that good stuff. Like, next round, we could just research station, assuming we get there, which is not likely. I think we have to wait for next round. And a mix of Research Station and Strike Feet Highliner, Worm it, and just get absolutely everything in. Seems correct, right? <coughs> so do we go for an Alliance is the next question. We could go Dutiful for the Research Station cash. We could go Secrets, maybe. I don't think we're ever getting the alliance. I think it's very hard to see how we ever get the alliance here. If Marga doesn't already have it. Sardaukar's are not... The problem is Sardaukar I don't really need because I'm going to empty my garrison. Anyway, Strike Fleet and Highliner is nine troops. 
Like, it's it's seven pulled. Like, I don't really need to go Sardukar, I don't think. But I could get away with it, I guess. What do I need the spice for at this point? Not a ton. No, I wouldn't have enough. I need five for Highliner and I need two for Revolt. Refinery is also an option. Refinery is also an option. For in case it's the money fight. One is Spy Recall, one's money, and then you've got Propaganda. Propaganda would not be amazing. Seem not to use Diplo, but I guess money's correct here. I'm not going deep desert. I don't need to go deep desert. No, I think Spice Refinery setting up for that point is 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 a stronger move. And we just hope it's uh, Arakeen, basically. Or Refinery, whichever one it is. Fucking Guild Spy, man. Such a stupid card. Six Persuasion... I don't see the point in buying anything here. Wheels within Wheels also gives us resources if we want them. Hmm. Pulled a retreat contract, I think. If everyone can score like six points here, then whatever. Um, I don't know. I assume they have a spice in hand or something. Or they're setting up for research station next round. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Let's see what happens. So we just got to hope it's the um, Arakeen. I think Arakeen is the... Was it Spice Refinery is the money? I never know which one it is. Because the Spy one is also a dag, which doesn't pair with us either. So the... Yeah, I, I don't care. So... Yeah, you thought that was obvious. Um, so... We just obviously have to win the fight. Um, obviously. You would hope between the the liner troops and the garrison. You know, that would be probably good. But it looks like she didn't have the pair, so that's that's cool. Would like to get rid of that if possible, but it's not likely. Shadow Shadow Alliance might well be relevant in this game. I mean, what do you do, man? It's so frustrating. The only one I don't want to see is this one. The only one I don't want to see is this fight. Propaganda wouldn't have been the worst. Because I will at least have value from Shadow Alliance and such. Ugh. That might cost us the match. That might cost us the match here. So she's going Highline again. Yeah, Covert we have to just try and find. So she's back there, of course. 
So we're going to go research station with a revolt. Pretty ridiculous this, by the way. But we just have sheer weighted numbers. Um, do we... Oh, we don't need revolt. Between wheels and wheels in our ring, we can generate spies. We have to play a revolt, of course, though, so... This is, this is automatic. We do pull covert. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got nine supply troops. We can get seven in here. So the interesting thing is we can actually put three spies down. So we can call one back. I'm not going to win this fight, am I? <laughs> I'm not going to win this fight, I don't think. Which is pretty absurd. Um, I think we need to go like assembly hall or something. Or do we gather support? I think gather support actually is better because then we can just rip absolutely everything in at Strike Fleet. Strike Fleet is... No, Strike Fleet is... Oh no, Strike Fleet's 10 troops. What the hell am I talking about? Strike Fleet empties our garrison. So we don't... That's our only deployment. So we have one free move. Is now Imperial Privilege. I feel like now is Imperial Privilege time. Because um, Irulan's just going worms, obviously. I feel like now is the opportunity to try to, to draw here. Because Strike Fleet empties our garrison. Um... Do I use the ring? The ring's just going to generate a spy, which we've got enough generating, so I don't need to use that. Let's double draw. Okay. So we don't need that. Leverage isn't helping. I mean, look this way. If we have Worm and MTR Gas and it's Strike Fleet and we still lose the combat, like, what are you going to do? I don't care about lifting Research Station. Like, what is it going to affect? I don't think it makes a big difference here. If I'm beat, I'm beat. Like, at this point, I, I can't possibly care. It doesn't make any difference. Like, Muad'Dib can't empty his garrison any faster. He's, his supply is empty. So him going to research station isn't doing a whole lot. And Irulan's never going to research station. So, like, it doesn't really matter. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now what we might actually do is we might gather support to generate the troops and then diplo it. Because that at least gives me strike fleets plus three swords. I think that's the best thing I can physically do here. If Irulan wins the game because of all this guild spy stuff, then what are you going to do, you know? Yeah, shrug. Um... But I feel like that's the most thing we can do is we gather support. She's got spring. <laughs> She's got spring. Game's over. That's what you can do. Um, but I think that's the only thing we can do is we diplo, we, we, we go gather support, rip it in strike fleet. Is that enough? So it's 24, 27, 30. It's not enough. If she's got spring, the track you're in. You've got spring, right? If, if so, then cool. 
Um, also, it could just be that. I mean, we have no other option. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, I guess if you got it, it doesn't matter. There's nothing else I can do. So, but yeah, I think the correct move is to gather support. And then do that. I have no idea what the hell Wadib's doing. Um, the only thing that makes sense is uh, gather support, highline with contracts, swords, and everything, and just hope we win. Nothing else makes sense here. We have, no, we have no other moves, so. But this at least saves Strike Fleet's swords. So we gain some strength here. I think this is the most efficient thing I can physically do. He's got by access, we have Shadow Alliance. So that's the thing. We've always got Shadow Alliance here, so we always score end game points. We can't end the game, unfortunately. Again, this is the worst conflict it could have been. Disgusting conflict, this, by the way. Like, really, really bad draw. But what can you do? Anything else, like, we possibly win the game, but I don't think we can win it off Arakeen. I think everything else, I can I can probably end it and actually get there. So it's just Highline, rip it in. Swords, Spy. We win, like, 30 strength. If we lose at 30... I don't think I can score four points, is the problem. How do I score four points here? <laughs> I ain't got spice for slow. I can only score three points here. Like, I can't end the game. <laughs> oh, I get the spacing bump. I guess that's true. Oh, yeah. I'd... So. I mean, it's possible that well, the three of us might just be king making yellow here at this point. It's kind of sad if that's the case. Yellow can't do a lot more to score unless they have intrigues. If they've got secure spice, then it's it's over. You know. I don't think we could have done much more this game. Like, I think how this goes down, I think we play pretty decent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we know that. They're just trying to work as it any way to maximize their score. And it's called go assembly hall and try and fluke an intrigue. Yeah, this was this was not good. Let I me mean, pull leverage as well. It's like, what do you do? <laughs> pull the worst intrigue in the game. Yeah. So rip it in. Do 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 da 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 just a wave of dudes. So we're going to be at like 32 strength. I actually don't think we can beat here. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, I, I, we have to... No, we need the spies. I mean, I, could I have got away with that using that? No, I need... I want an extra spy so I can pull it. I want an extra spy so I can pull it into the... Um, so I can put it into the combat. We need all the strength we can get here. Spice's power is, is obviously pretty scary. So... You know. So we had to go maximum strength, which means we pull spies. Because this is, this is like either use one or lose one. So, so we just shut our eyes and hope this all works itself out. Move that, and then we just put them back. Yeah. 
yeah. Space is a concern. So, this just ends how it does. Like, oh, she had spice. She had spice. She had the other one. And devour. Look at this. So, yeah. GG, yellow. Because we, I can't, I can't catch you. It's the worst conflict it could have been for me because I can't pair it. Yeah, GG. <laughs> she had secure spice trade in the fox to match. So, we get second place, which is the best we could have done. So, I guess that's cool. But yeah, what a, what a ridiculousness. We did all we humanely could here, but yeah, just all the points there. Nothing we could do. I did use Fade Pass. That's why I added five swords. <laughs> Instead of three. Because of that. I, I took it off and then moved them all around. So, yeah. Nothing you do. Margot also had stockpiling as well. <laughs> Completely absurd. But no, we we this was we we did the physical best we could here. We were never winning this game. We were never winning this game. I knew we weren't winning this match. It was impossible. We did the best we could. If it was just a matching conflict, at least maybe if it's the money fight, if it's uh if it's if it's spice refinery, I could at least get to eleven. Because at least I can match the combat and think maybe I've got a chance. But the moment Arakeen comes off, it's it's game over. Um, because they just lose a point. There's nothing I can do about it. So there was there was nothing we could do here. Um, we played the best game we could, and if she's sitting on all this and two end game points, like you just don't lose. It's just it's all madly over. So uh, you know, there you go. Guild Spy wins two in a row. Pretty, pretty standard. Pretty standard. Hopefully we'll get a game without Guild Spy. I'll do one more. What the hell? <coughs> God. But yeah, it's pretty pretty absurd this, you know. 30, 29 strength got third place. But yeah, we just have enough for Strike Fleet. I, I'm glad that I spotted the um, Gather Support move to diplo it and get in the garrison there. So we saved the, the swords. That that saved us, um, that got us to second place. Otherwise we lose on tie breaks. So I'm glad that we we spotted that. That that got, that got us a position. But winning was not possible. And unfortunately that is uprising, is that some there are some games you just can't win. <laughs> like, what, what more could we do here to win this match? There's nothing. I can't control Guild Spy coming off here. Like, that's the way it goes. So pretty happy i don't think we could have done much more than that like and as, I, as i've said as i'll say on, on on these streams and what else like it's more important to me to feel that i've played well than to win the match like the last game there's nothing good <laughs> uh, yeah the last game was nothing i could do um but this game like what more could i do you know we played pretty well so yeah, no, it was too important to it was too important to get every single bit of combat stuff. I knew we were gonna need it. I knew Spice's power was out there. Spring the trap is a possible backup. Like it was all out there. We have to go absolutely max. Um, we have to go absolutely max. Uh, max strength there. Um, because it, we just we just have to. We we have to go maximum. Because all the big intrigues out there, Spice's power is out there, spring the trap. Someone will still spring the trap to win it, even though they drop a point. Like, if it wins the combat, they don't care. Um, so that still works. Um, it's all there, so we, we, we can't take any chances at all. So second place, best we could do. I don't think there's anything else we could have done here. No, not really. Just got Guild Spy. Um... Shit, tons of tons of spice must flow. I think if you get guild spy and secure spice trade, and you do get at least two, and you get those points, like I don't really think you can realistically lose. Also, she pulled all the Fopter as well, so yeah, not much you can do. Anyways, we'll do one more. And we'll uh, see how we go. 
And she nearly got Strike Fleet as well, bear in mind. She only didn't get Strike Fleet because of the fact that I pulled, um, that I got Manipulate. Otherwise, she would have had that as well, and it would have been even more of a, a one-sided contest. As it was, it was, you know, pretty... Like, she was never in doubt. We did well to get second. <coughs> Best we could manage. Ugh. I mean, that's the thing I've had to kind of try to learn as well of Uprising is I, in Uprising, especially at the moment, I can't care as much about the results. I think there is a lot more ridiculousness. I mean, she also guild she guild spy and spectacle and all that stuff. Like, what are you gonna do? You know, like there there are just games you play where you just you just don't get winning chances. That's that's what I I, I talk about in stuff that I do. Like, do do you if you get a chance to win the game, then you've played pretty decently. Is the way I look at it. If you get winning chances, it's all you can hope for. Um, because obviously it's just so all over the place at the moment. <sighs> Anyways. So we'll do one more. And we'll uh, see how we go. <coughs> God damn it. I'll zoom in in a moment. It's going to move the camera around. I'm not going to worry about it. Snow. Snow. It's all fine. Because I wasn't worried about moving it. Let's see, how we go. Green spot. First again. Three games in a row in the first. I mean, we'll see what we pull. The problem is, first position is awkward. Like, it's not easy to play in first seat in this game. I don't think. There's a bit of Ix Imo, There's a bit of, Im of Rise of Ix about first seat in Uprising, I do feel sometimes. And especially if the row's got, like, a big card that someone's going to early reveal for, and you can't really target it. Like, it, it feels pretty bad. Because if in, in first position, it feels like you've kind of got to use both actions a lot. Doing one and just revealing doesn't feel great, even for a good card. We'll see what we we'll see what we get left with, and we'll we'll work it from there. Anyways, um, contracts, research station, refinery, both fairly solid. I don't know object and Charney, two big cards here. Wheels and wheels is also there. <coughs> Damn it! Sorry. So we'll just play it out. Yeah, it's all it's all fine. There's nothing outrageously great, but there it's all it's all okay. Let's see what we get left with. There's some leaders I could pick, and there's some leaders I don't think I should pick. No gurney. What the hell? Who's been picked here? I think Margot's gone. I think Staban's gone. I think Wadib's gone. What the hell, man? Charney on the row as well. I was legitimately thinking about playing Jessica if she turns up here, but this is so weird. I guess we just... I guess we just go Gurney? Yeah, I was right. That's one thing I'm learning to do here, is I'm calling the leaders that are getting pulled pretty well. So Staban obviously is going to... Staban's revealing early. We pull a miserable hand. So we have to just accept contracts and go from there. Accept contracts, fine. We can pick refinery contracts at least. Isn't too bad. Full faction. Charney, obviously, I would like. I'm not convinced we're going to get to Charney. 
yeah, it's not a great row for her. I know that. But yeah, so Stabarn's revealing early. That much is obvious. Margot might reveal early because of Stabarn. Is that great for her? I mean, a big part of Jessica is like her ring. You've also got to decide what you're going to do for her. If there was like a big like seven or eight costa, you could stack up specimen. You could stack up stuff at the um, at the the factions for. So, ward is also pretty useful. So we've got secrets and we've got dutiful. I feel like Secrets is not bad here. Doable, I'd only be picking Research Station. I think Secrets is better here, right? I think Secrets is better. Let's get some intrigues going. Manipulate. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, we pulled it again. Price no object or Charney. Charney's such a good card for us, though. It's got to be Charney, right? Charney's really powerful with Gurney. I can't believe I pulled Manipulate first time on both of them. That's pretty nuts. I can't believe I've done that two games in a row. That's pretty insane. Let's get Charney. Charney's really good with Gurney. There's a huge potential for troop protection. Also, I do not want Wadib revealing early for Charney. I have to keep that away from him. He might reveal early for price now. Which I'm okay with. That denies it further down. Captured Mentat comes off. Ugh. But yeah, I think I think Charney is the best card for us here. Even though we could have got price, I think Charney is slightly stronger. Pair that obviously with our ring. Very, very strong. We just have a garrison at all times. Play it as we go. Yeah, that's why I did it. <coughs> so Mardi basically would have got whatever I wouldn't have picked. We'll see if the barn's gonna reveal early, not here. He might be he might be scared to. The Imperium row is very important in this game. Like, have you you need some good cards to win matches. That's why in the first game, like, we had no deck at all. Like, we were so comprehensively beaten on deck quality. Well. Stabarn Tuek opts to go for the immediate highline. Immediate research station. I'm glad we stayed out of this one. I I I hope someone I hope someone takes uh wheels and wheels from him now for that. I really do. Uh do we want smugglers harvester? Probably not. <coughs> Come on, Margo. Take wheels. Take wheels. No, what are you doing? What? How does she not take wheels? Are you kidding me? Oh my. How? How do you not? What? How do you not do it? And now he picks up Spy Network as well. What in the? I can't believe that. I cannot. I cannot believe that. What in the heck? I got, I got nothing. I got nothing. Well, okay then. Here we go. I've played with Gambit a few times. It's not my first game against them. Okay. Shadow Contest. Not a bad one for... Oh my god. Oh, we pulled her immediately. Oh dear. We've actually pulled her immediately. We got our D6. Our next hand is not good, apart from Diplo. 
that we actually pulled Charney immediately. That's pretty sick. We d6 it. Okay, well, this is going to be an all over the place match. Um, wow. <coughs> Wadib does not have faction access. Apparently. It's going to be a weird old game. Let me move this a touch across here. Feels like, this feels like uh, this is a leaning game for me here. I might actually move this out right. There we go. I've done this before and I've been like over here and you can't see anything. This is like a leaning game for me, I think. So, Mardib's just desperately trying to find Fremen access. So, we have a lot of options. Right, like Refinery is something we could go for. Like, we've obviously got Seek Allies. I don't expect to get to the Fremen. But Staban... Well, Staban won the fight, so Staban's going hooks. So we're not getting to the Fremen unless I want to spend my water. I don't know if I want to go Desert Tactics. Margo knows I've got my ring coming, so... Wow. So the problem is, obviously, um, well, I only, I might as well only put in one, one troop here. The problem is my ring. I'm not likely to get it off here. Oh man. I don't think I care about going Frem Kit here. I don't think it matters. I think I'm better off just going Refinery or Hagger Basin and getting it in here. I don't think I need to go Fremen right now. I don't think it's that necessary. We do want the, the Alliance would be nice, but. I don't want to frem kit and then lose refinery in Hagger Basin. I have a feeling that could happen. Wadib's got some faction access. Staban doesn't. Staban wants to go with refinery as well, and I need to block that. Uh, I just don't want to go frem it, frem kit. I guess I gotta take a chance. If I don't get to deploy the ring, it's a disaster. Is the problem? And Wadib's going Hagger Basin, unless he pulled the faction access. So I guess I'm gonna. We'll take the chance here. Don't want to see Diplo. We don't. Uh, go Desert Tactics. Go Desert Tactics. Faction! Go faction! You must have it! Go faction! Faction! Go dutiful! Secrets, I don't care! Go Desert Tactics. Blast it in. I'm not worried. The problem is I didn't really want to trash. And it's not going to make a difference. If he's going Fremen, he's going Fremen. Like, it doesn't make a blind bit of difference which, faction, which one I hit. I also shouldn't really be giving Frem Kit to my opposition. And we can always, worst come to worse, if, like, Basin and Ice Refinery goes. We can always just go Desert Tactics with Charney. And not worry about the ring. I would like to reveal her. But we can also just play her. And that's not outrageous. So we get to either Tactics or Hagger Basin. One of the two. And we either play Charney or reveal her.
So the next question is, do we just get it all in here? And I assume the answer is yes. Right? I assume the answer is yes. Yeah. The thing is, if Mardeep does it tactics, he kind of feels like he's got to get it all in here. Because it's kind of awkward. They know I've got my ring. They don't know that I've got Charmy. Like, Charmy was a very useful find. So someone's not getting anything out of this conflict here. Margo just blocks espionage, as you do. I kind of wish espionage wouldn't can't couldn't give you the spy on Bene Gesserit, you know what I mean? So the barn basically has given up this conflict here. So Oh, refinery's still open. Oh wow. Okay. Guess we'll go refinery. Cool. I, didn't, I actually did not expect that to stay there. I did not expect that to stay there at all. Wow. Okay. Well, didn't need to worry about it. And we're the only person with any water here, so we can get to Basin pretty safely here. Wow. I'm really surprised the barn didn't go... He, he must not have access. Is he got, like, double dagger diplo or something weird? Or double convincing? Curious. We've only got three persuasion. Um, Charney's, uh, the persuasion is the Fremen bond, so. Should be noted. But yeah, our next hand is going to be Diplo and, like, factions. So, what do you want to do? Like, Basin, Sadu, Car? We have five from passive. Basin, Sadu, Car is an option. Uh, I don't think he's going to pull a spy here for um, an intrigue at the moment. Oh, with four persuasion, then you're right. I don't even want it. I don't even... I don't even want it. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to take Guild Spike. We're going to use it as an access card. So where do I want to put it? Council? Let's block up the... Let's get here for now. But I'm going to use it as an access card. I have no real intention of using it as a reveal. If Blue's fluked an intrigue to beat us... Then she flukes an intrigue to beat us. Okay, cool. But at least it came for cheap. So. That's fine with me. I think... I Do you use questionable methods to win this? I don't know if that makes any sense. I don't know. I don't know. We pick up weirding, which is good for later. I don't know. Does, is that... Does that... Is that right? I have absolutely no idea. It's 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 not great. I mean, it's neutral at best. The thing is, now we can highline, and it's Ara King, which is pretty highlineable. Wow. It's base in Highline, isn't it? I mean, it's base in 100%. Basing Weirding? I don't know. Let's see. Well, it has to be Hagger Basin, obviously. Um, we have to, obviously, go there. Let's put the two in. And we'll obviously see how this progresses. I guess second place would be fine. I like Sadu Kar. Sadu Kar just gives us so much garrison with Charney as well. Sadu Kar just feels a really nice move. 
she didn't have it at the time. That was her only intrigue. Jock. So literally her only intrigue was was questionable methods. So she could have anything. Could have absolutely anything. The problem is I don't really want to draw right now. I also, I don't know. I mean, espionage is okay. I just, I, I just try to find ways to get Sadukar moves in. I just think this is a really good spot to do it. With Ring coming, with Charney, with everything going on. We've still got a Spice to go to Spice Refinery. We might still win the conflict with Weirding. Like, if there was ever a time to make a Sadukar move, I feel like now is like that kind of like intermezzo moment to, uh, to do so. Could also just go deliver supplies. Could just go deliver supplies. And that's also okay. Yeah, I don't I don't really want to play. I just don't want to go espionage. I don't I don't I don't think it's not great for us. And I don't really want to draw right now. There's not a lot of cards I want to pull here. Like I want to kind of see all of that. So I feel like Deliver Supplies is fine. Sadu Car is fine. The water's building up at Deep Desert. And I can't let Mwadib get that for cheap. I think I think Deliver Supplies is the move here. We have to keep him away from it. He's likely got an access card. Um, I think blocking him is important here. We can't just let him get Deep Desert cheap here when he's getting hooks. Let's do that. Let's prevent that. It's an obvious move for him to make. If he has the access. So I think it's important we cut that out. And judging by the stall here. That suggests to me that's exactly what he was going to do. It just gives us tons of options next round. I think that's the, the thing about this game. That I think you need to do. Is to give yourself options. You know. If we can win this fight, do we win this fight? If I've got, if I can, if I can like actually win it, I we I think we play weirding to win it, right? This thing we've got all this garrison, so we can afford to be very aggressive right now. We don't have a ton of garrison actually, right? If I go on Sodacar, maybe, but I, I yeah, it's fine. Anyways, we'll see what Mardib's got, but I feel like, I feel like he may have had. A, I don't know. We'll see. Margo with double daggers. Mardib's going to have probably one. But Mardib trashed a dagger though, didn't he? So... I think we're basically going to have to use Weird in Combat here and, and get in front. If Margo's pulled another entry to win it, then second place is not a disaster. It sets us up for uh, Swordmaster in a couple of rounds. So... The plan is to play Guild Spy 2 deliver supplies if we draw it to get us to deep desert <coughs> oh, sorry free persuasion to buy double agent looks really good for us let's pick that up this will be a nice playoff for um thingy and there's the one dagger so we will play weirding here Assuming blue doesn't play. We'll see. We get to see in advance if blue has anything. We have position, which is nice. money has got seven. He's got to go priority contract, you think. Leadership's also there as well. Oh, man. I think you meant to go leadership? Okay. So did blue fluke another one? Wow, they did. Wow. Okay. Wow. 
Wow, back-to-back -back intrigues for Margo there. That's pretty insane. I've, I've taken my stuff. I don't know if I meant to pair her there, but I think we're better off holding on to Weirding for now. It gives us better leverage later on. I would like Arakeen, but I don't think it's... I don't think it's a big deal. Also, it now doesn't look like I have a battle intrigue as well. It looks like I have something else. So, we do pull Guild Spy. And we've got Double Agent. We've got all sorts of stuff here. Oh, we pull our ring, which is a bit annoying. It's probably there. It's probably just like missing. I, I can't see a flag blue. I'm assuming it's there. Can you just like unlock it? Oh, it's there. That's why. It, it, it it's it's a it's a thing that happens sometimes. It like locks too soon when it's coming across. It's uh it's a it it does that sometimes. So what do we want to do here? I'd love to get free actions in, but I don't think we can. It's trade dispute. Wadib is always going in here. But we can deny him victory. Guild Spy, Signet Ring, Deep Desert. feels it feels correct gives us shipping next round gives us i don't think we need to use double agent right now not to deep desert it's a pretty bad place to send it so i think we go and there's there's no point going for the contracts it's not going to help us enough mardi we, we, as long as we get some cash it's, it's a bit awkward here we could go contracts and just set ourselves up for sword master and around but i guess it's fine um, let's go deliver supplies and do I want to pull the card or not? That's a question. I think I'd rather leave the spy there for now. Gives us high lineup threatens uh, next time. Things happened. They'll sort themselves out. Do we go Hagger Basin? I think we now are meant to go Hagger Basin and... Oh, no. Well, go, well Staban assumed he's going there first, so... That's not going to make a difference. It's hard to win this, truthfully. We can definitely try. The problem is, is that we don't have... Ch well, I mean, it's actually not bad not having Chani because I can't get more than two troops in, so... It's actually a good time not to have her. So Stabarn's going to go Hagger Basin Hooks. But we can definitely deny victories here with Weirding. So it's got to just be Deep Desert, and then we're just threatening all sorts of stuff. Or... Do we go Spice Refinery? We can't lose. We can't lose spice. We can't lose deep desert. We're going to draw access to it, and it gives us chances at Swordmaster. Man, we've got to beat Margot. So, and we might even find a world. Where it's very possible we have a world we can go Swordmaster first and then go deep desert straight away afterwards. I think Refinery is a really nice move here. Let's get it in with the ring.
He denies some water across the board. The barn's the one who got the, the worm in. So he can only generate two water. Anyone else can only generate one. And if Wardeep decides to gather support, we can still get to Deep Desert anyways. We're not losing Deep Desert. We are... I think we're pretty much... I think we are guaranteed access between Dune and Charney. We are guaranteed access to Deep Desert. So... It's a nice spot here to, to make this little middle move. I'm kind of just getting people's way here. And between our two swords and weirding, we could probably still win this as well. Which would be good for us. So... <coughs> Unless Margot flukes another entry, which, you know, can happen. So yeah, I think that's uh yeah, I think that this finery is a nice movie. It has to put in the troop, obviously. And we'll find out what the situation is here. We've got free to buy, by the way. Can we get the, the plus one? Ecological looks pretty good for us. Because of captured mentor. Yeah, he's going leadership. Oh, they're tied at the moment. Oh, my goodness. Wow, this could be interesting. Well, well there's going to be a load of us at six here. Staban actually rips a spy off. He's desperately trying to find intrigues to win this. So we get to six. I think it's got to just be ecological, right? Just for the faction access. Take some pressure off our Diplo. Yeah. Well, I assumed you were taking leadership, so. <laughs> I don't care. If you want leadership, take it. I don't care. I guess it would have then peeled this off, though, and I would have taken that over this, so. Swap those. Right, everyone's happy. This is a better card for us. Yeah, I'm sure Wadib isn't. Eh, Wadib's, um... It's alright. Wadib can still go for Ecological. Ecological's not a bad card for him. So, the interesting thing is we get to see Margo's reveal first, and we get to see if the barn pulled a battle intrigue. So, we're still in a decent seat here. Nothing Wardeep can do. He has to stay out of this. So we get to be in decent position. If Margot's got a dagger, then we'll know about it. She does. So we get to see in advance if Staban has a battle intrigue. That we probably have to use weirding regardless here. But at least we get to see in advance. See how this goes down. Steersman's come off the road, by the way. Big card. Wadib is six. So he's going to threaten us at the Swordmaster. But again, we should be able to Swordmaster. There's only one Intrigue in the game that gives water. And no one can do it because it requires High Council seat. Because the one nice thing about Uprising is that that's pretty standard. So we get to see if he pulled anything. He pulls tactical. Oh, God. Well, here we go. Plus three swords. If the barn's got two, he's got two. No. Okay, we take it down. What a fight. Damn. Look at that. Pretty wild. So the water, the trash. Um, we take the harvest contract. No reason not to. And we get ourselves a match point. Very cool. All right. Well, that went down pretty well for us, though. That couldn't have gone. Couldn't really have gone any better. All right. 
We did not pull Doom. That sucks. Nothing we can do about it. So, let's get the Swordmaster going. We're going to be forced to have to use Charney at Deep Desert, which is a shame. But it's not a big deal. Not a lot we can really do about that. But yeah, no, that, the, the, the refinery move last round, that was a really good move. I'm glad I spotted that. That was a really, really strong move. That's got us into this spot here. <coughs> Damn it. So. Let's see how this plays out. Someone is going to force us to go deep desert. So what do we do with diplomacy? It's um, it's charm security, by the way. There's another argument that we blast it in at Highliner. Because it gives us the alliance. We'd have a lot of money. That gets the high council. Like This is probably just, uh, yeah, probably an automatic Highliner verse. And we just rip it in. And we finish where we finish. Yeah, I, I can't see any move outside of it. Hmm. Is there any... Uh, shame we can't dip, pull up. We can't Highline and then use Charney to get the Intrigue. Nothing we can do about it, though, is there? No, I'd only be able to get two troops in. You need three or more in the conflict. I, only, I don't have any. So I, I, I looked at that, but it doesn't give me the, the intrigue, sadly. Unless I get, like, Stam's favor or, or, or something. Um, I also think winning this is really important as well. Like, we can just take this alliance, and that's going to be pretty safe here. So let's just, um, let's just grab it. Yeah. I was looking at that, but we had to spend everything. Always, that would have been an interesting, interesting route. So, Muad'Dib is going to start uh, buying, of course. He's going to be going to a spice refinery a lot here. Steersman first. Yeah, into the hand. The problem we've got is if we highline, how often do we actually win this? That's the next problem we have. If we highline, how often do we win? We're not taking the spy. The spy staying there for guild spy later on. It kind of reminds me of like one of the when I in the final group game at the North Carolina Invitation, I actually got guild spy, and the only thing I did with guild spy is I sent it the highliner twice. And I was playing Gurney in that as well. So it's actually not a dissimilar situation. Yeah. We'll see what the barn does. I know he's loaded on strength is the problem. Oh, he's playing B spoils. He's playing B spoils. Well, that's a move. Wow. It's round five. I, I just have to high line here, right? Yeah, second's okay. There's some denial going on. Everyone's committing bits here. Wadib's getting his worm in. 
It's an alliance we can still go for. Getting it in and getting second place is okay for us. So yeah, I think it's just uh, you just shut your eyes and and uh, punt it in. And it just ends as it does. Someone's missing out here. We're going to get something from this fight. Probably second. And it also gives Mardi pause for thought here. Because he just goes Hagger Basin. Now he, he's not so sure. He's obviously got Steers. Like he could go like Gather Support, Hagger Basin. He might do that. I could definitely see him doing that. But I don't know. Yeah, we've got so much spice. And it's round five. And we're still threatening Highliners, so. We'll see what Haz does. But I think, yeah, getting it in can't be... Can't be terrible. Someone other than us is committing a fair amount of forces and getting nothing. And we're the one that can sustain it with our rain, with Highliner, with Charney. I strongly expect he will just go gather support, Hagger Base, and then that he'll win the fight. I don't think we can win it. But we can at least slow them down. <coughs> we can at least slow them down. And losing in all three spots is, like, near impossible. If I had an Intrigue in the hand, this would be a much more effective move. Like, Mardiv can still do this and pretty safely just win. But I still think it's... I still think it's fine. But it's, it's, it's the move he has to make, obviously. We get the two troops back. The water in cash isn't bad. The one thing I would like to do would be to get to Imperial Privilege. Though we don't have any secrets for it anyways. But High Council is um, is definitely something we want to look to try and get as well. <coughs> Sorry. Stavan doing. Stavan gets three daggers. So he's at nine. That's why he's B spoils. He used B spoils for the um He used B spoils for thingy. Okay, what do you want to do here? We got five. Paracompass looks pretty good for us actually, because we want to go down high council, so let's go pick that up. I peel off spectacle for Wardeeb. So that's bad. <laughs> Mardib has just become favourites. Mardib has just become a favourite in this match because I've peeled public spectacle there. That is an absurd, ridiculous draw out for him. So, uh, yeah. Nothing you can do about that. That's just uh, just bad luck. So hopefully neither of them are battle intrigue and they get nothing. That would be amazing. If somehow we're dead in both spots, then, <laughs> you know, you shrug your shoulders. But no, Wadib is now favourite to win this. The only thing is he doesn't have... Um, he hasn't got any spies down, so... Hopefully they just both pass. Okay, well, we've denied both of them rewards, so I can... That's not too bad. We know we couldn't win it, but we've denied both red and blue anything out of this conflict, which is incredibly painful for them. That is incredibly painful for them. So, Mardib is the obvious concern now, and we're going to have to do something about that. The other issue is is the Spacing Alliance as well. I don't think we can ever win that now. It looks pretty, pretty dead. Between Steersman and Spectacle and Shipping. Um, it's probably not savable. But we made the, we made the try. Who knows what could happen here? Could get pretty crazy. Right, what do we draw? Okay. Should be interesting. So, 
it is winnable, but it's very difficult to win. What's the conflict? Test of loyalty. The thing is, is that Mardib's got split priorities here. He wants to get worms and stuff, so I think we can actually save it. I think we go shipping and we maybe even use dangerous rhetoric and just send it to high to the spacing guild and just cement the alliance. But I we I don't know. We've always got guild spy though, so we'll see how things play out. But I think shipping is a mandatory first move for us. But Muadib is definitely the concern now. Um, and we've got Charney as well, which is nice. So we'd save some garrison here. So Highline doesn't look too terrible here. It's a bump we could do with. And it's not a fight Muadib wants to win this at all. Like, he wants to win this. He, second place is pretty bad for him. So we might end up Highlining again. <laughs> but we have to ship immediately. And get in front of the alliance. We're going to have like 16 cash. So if the money fight comes up later on and we can win it, that'd be huge. We have no worms, but yeah, at least it's done. But we have to ship immediately and get in front. Like opportunity for Staban. Just plays it. Guess he's off the high council. Staban is in real trouble, by the way, this game. Like he's that 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 fight took a lot out of him. I, 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 yeah, I need to get the High Council, but we have to ship first. We have to just get in front of this. This is too important. If Mardi wants to fight for us, then sure. The problem is, even at 5 Persuasion, with the, the, the influence of the Guild, I don't even think it's that safe. He doesn't have Spies, yeah, that's the only thing, but he, that won't take him long. Won't take him long. I see. Only good thing we've got from RD is his priorities are split between he wants to get winning conflicts and other stuff. He's got a lot of stuff he wants to do. So I've just got to work out what I want to do with the ring now. That's the next question. Here comes his agent recalling. He has to give it up, so now someone else can worm here. Margot's going to go in here. That's the only problem with him going inside a car right now. How are you deploying troops? He thinks he's got coordination. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're going to have to like we have to take at least one more bump with the spacing guild feel this is a combat though only want to... it's, it's, it's a really weird spot this I don't quite know what best to do the issue is if I use like the signet ring to go high council then I'm committed to hot to I can't even go high line currently I don't actually have the spice so I can't do a lot with rhetoric Unless I went Imperial Basin Highline. I don't know. We need to kind of see what happens. It's a bit awkward for Mardib. Mardib can put in a lot of dudes here. And Mardib's got every reason to put dudes in here. This is a fight he really wants to win.
guess we just go high counts with dangerous and um this is really awkward I mean, I guess I just use danger to high council. I think I have to try to take a chance here. He's used his diplo, but it is scary. But I've always got shipping ahead of him. So I think we can afford to bump elsewhere. We should bump Fremen to try at least give us access to the siege. Let's go and do that. If he blocks it, he blocks it. Yeah, the thing is, I was just looking at... I, I, I can't stop him winning this. It's just never going to happen. If I was sitting at five spice, it's a different story. There's not a lot I can do here. Do I use Charney instead of... Eh, I've got the ring, though. Feels kind of bad. Ugh. I mean, I would like to do that, but I don't think I'm getting there. As long as Mardib doesn't get there, that's the important thing. I'm just going to get the alliance and call it a day. Really shouldn't trash it there. Let's go base and then gather some dudes. That's the one thing we've got with my DBs. He's really low on resources. We can at least strangle him a little bit. About the best we can do. Conflict freeze coming up. If this is the city conflict, it's pretty decent. It's pretty decent. For to buy. Sardaukar Coordination Combat. That's a great card for us. Ishmi doesn't take it. Okay, we'll take the keep instead then. That's also fine for me. Here comes the spy. So we have to reveal spectacle here. So Steersman's coming next round. I don't think he should buy anything. Maybe ecological once the blue moon. I don't think you'll bother. No intrigues is a bad place to be, though. Like, we need to try and get to secrets. Yeah, Margo now can't retreat, so... If she had a retreat entry, she has to hold on to it. She doesn't really want to give that up. Yeah. It's like trying to restrain Mardib here, basically. It's it's really difficult. He's got so much, so much strength in this. Uh, the first one was comical. The second one we played pretty well. Um, but... Uh, Guild Spy has won two out of two games so far, basically. Well, hoping it's going to be three out of three because I've got it, though I'm not intending to do any like faction blocking. I've just got it for Highline access. Um, but yeah, the first one was pretty, pretty, pretty crazy. It's propaganda. 
It's propaganda. This gives us five persuasion. We're at like 10 persuasion here. Okay. It's a very bad conflict for us. It's not what I wanted to see. <laughs> it's probably what we have to do. The problem is, is that we've got a big reveal. Remember, between high counts and power combos, we have five persuasion. That's the problem. I'm not even sure we can set up worms. We might, I, we have to go secrets, I think. Uh, we could go espionage. I guess espionage is probably correct. What have we got to draw still? I don't think there's any city access coming. Let's see what we draw. Oh, double agent. I'm trying to work out, is it worth us taking bumps to the Fremen? The other issue is, how do I get to Worms next round? I might get a deep desert. Okay, let's go Let's go here then. We'll see. I never tried. I got Guild Spy. I had no intention. I'm never going to get Spies down. No, Guild Spy has been purely a Highline Access card. That's the only reason I got it. I didn't even really want to take it when it turned up. I was just like, I guess I have to. I'll put it on spacing and just use it. That's what I did in the North Carolina Invitational when I got Guild Spy. Is I just sat it on Spacing Guild and just used it as a Highline Access card and a bit of deck cycling. That's literally all I did with it. Well, the thing is, if, remember, of course, if we reveal Guild Spy, we get the bump on the on the faction anyway, so we don't even need to worry too much about that. Um, the thing is, we're on Spice was slow. That's the problem. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're on eleven persuasion. That's the the tricky spot here. Is I kind of don't want to. Rev I need to keep hold of this, and this is protecting. Oops, this is protecting our alliance. Means I don't have to worry about defending it as aggressively because I can unless he has unless he's able to get free bumps in like virtually no time like if he's got buy access then you know what you do you just shrug I guess sorry I moved the camera there my apologies try and make it a bit better is that good for you guys I'll have to do so. Let's just go siege and just reset the spy. Paul convincing. The next question is, do we get involved here? I think I'm going to limp a troop in and try and keep Stabarn out of this. Make it look like I'm fr I'm getting ready to go in here. Hopefully he just doesn't get involved. Assuming Moir Deep goes in a bit here and Stabarn stays out and it gives us the option just to pick up three spice on the cheap. 
Eh, I'd rather keep the spy down. It could also be the spy combat. This thing we got to keep prepared for what the next combat is and the side points. Could be the spy one. This could get us back to you know. Let's give us some options. Bear in mind the wall is still up, by the way, which is worth knowing. So we've got some options. So we're at 2, 3, 6, 8, 10. We're at 12 persuasion here. So I can actually use power compass if I want as well. It's just, well, I can't use it, but. Yeah, I, I, I want to reveal Guild Spy. Just a little bit of insurance on our faction. You know. We could even just go deliver supplies ourselves if we want. Like, we can also just go deliver supplies. Two, five, seven, nine. And we can cycle out Doom. What's our last card? Is it anything interesting? It's a dagger, I think. Yeah, our last card's a dagger, so... The intrigue would be nice. It's a it's a different way around it. I I don't I do like I you know yeah. So we probably just go to there, assuming it's still there. And we can keep the spy there, of course. And you can see how our putting a troop in. Now Staban's not getting involved in the fights. It looks like I'm getting ready to gear up here. So we're going to pick up some spice on the cheap. Which is nice. Unless he's got detonation, which he might use. But it's like, whatever. I just have to hit the faction access. We've got two cards out of five, six. Two cards out of 13 that get us there. So we just got to hope we pull one. If we don't pull one, we don't pull one. What are you going to do? Let's uh, just hit this. I mean, it's not ideal, but if it's the Solari combat, which you wanted the last game, and we can get worms in, then yeah, we can do that. Um, shipping, but I. Yeah, we don't need the shipping bumps. I mean, I don't think I'm getting both Emperor bumps, truthfully. I think I can get one. Getting two is really difficult. So I think I'm better off just not worrying about it. We've got so much money as it is. Yeah, High Council was a possibility. We've got, we got options. So let's get the Spice Must Flow. Get our free spice. Yeah, I'm. I'm so glad I put that troop in. That was. That was a good move. That. Well, if the wall, I don't. Only don't really care about the. If the walls. If the wall breaks, the wall breaks. Like I don't particularly care. If the wall doesn't break, it's not a disaster if it doesn't. I'm okay if it doesn't break. It's just having no intrigues is awkward. The problem is, if anyone can blow the it blow the wall, it's probably Mardi, and we keep going before him. That is not good for us. Like that is a a a real problem. So we just got to you know hit highliner, pun it in, and just hope that we kind of get there. If we need to, whatever the combat is, we have the resources to get some additional points on the side. Whether it's Spice, Solari, or the Spies are dotted about as well. So whatever it is, we can look to score the additional point. Um, unfortunately, we can't match anything, but, you know, whatever. And if the game ends now, somehow, then the game ends now. Like, if Mardib somehow... I don't think Mardib can beat us to... We just have to pull liner access, basically. That's why I want to get the extra bump, obviously, with space and protect that alliance, so... Um, if the game ends here, then... Shrug. You ready for, for round eight? 
<coughs> Sorry. He's going to be buy cheap cards, I guess. I don't think we could have won this fight either. I could have tried highlining, but it'd been really difficult to win this. And I, it's just, it's, it's a real poor one. Oh, there's detonation. Look at that. There you go. So he did have one minimum. So, you know, he scores two points. He can't score three. Because the wild card is a match. But it's an end game, so he doesn't get the point straight away. So, just the spice. And then we just got to, uh, you know... It's a bump at Emperor, bump at Spacing, and two bumps at uh, Benajasra. It should be one and one, by the way. It should be noted. Whoops. So you should commit to a bump elsewhere before you take that. Officially. Like, carry on, but you shouldn't be allowed to the injury. That is the rules. It is. Um, it is. Uh, you choose two and then choose two again. They can't be the same. It's obviously it is. It's the, the, it won't affect his bumps. It's going to be the same thing. He wants to go after me, but he knows it's really hard to win. He should. He should just take my. I think he should just take the the spacing bump. Really. But it's like whatever. It's the obvious move. It's, it's, he's got another move. He has to do this. So we just got to pull all our access. If we don't pull access, we don't pull access. What are you going to do? Yeah, of course. There's the, it doesn't make any difference, but that is how it works. Do we pull it? Yes. We guild spy it. Spice refinery as well, so we can score some points. Uh, yeah, he plays Spies. Council. Such. Okay. So. Do we go Siege first? And blow the wall? I think we have to... Because it's the money fight specifically... I think we have to go Siege first. We have to guarantee the wall blows, right? No one's beating us to Deep Desert, unless specifically Saban has got Ambition. There's one card. It's got to be Siege first, right? If he gets it, whatever. We If he gets it, we won't get in it anyways. We're still highlining. It doesn't make a blind bit of difference. So, um, I think we just go make a keeper. If I lose the alliance, I lose the alliance. I don't think he can do it in two. If he's got specifically buy access, it's the only card. If he's got change allegiances, then whatever, you know. But then saying that, I've got the spy, so I guess I don't need to. No, you are right. So I guess we just rip it a high line and just, uh, yeah, we can do it in whichever order. Yeah, that's fair. I don't think anyone else beats us there. We'll see. Let's rip it in. Uh, so we're not going to be buying Spice Must Flow. We don't need this card. Like our deck's not great, truthfully, but yeah, let's just rip, rip it in. Yeah, that's good. But I've got, yeah, I've got the spy on seat, haven't I? So I actually, it doesn't matter which way around I do it. It's just me going to seat. Also, kind of in theory, stops people getting more worms in. But yeah, I guess this. Yeah, it it, it might not matter which way around we go here. But it seeped each desert is the only thing we can do. Um. We can score four points. And then we just hope we win. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're never getting anywhere. We, we, unless something completely insane happens, I don't think we ever get anywhere. Um, is there a reason to play... Is there anything else in my deck that really matters to draw? Para Compass is about the... <coughs> Actually, I don't think Para Compass gets us there because we've got the dagger. Maybe I should have discarded the dagger, actually. Yeah, because of Para Compass. I suppose so. Charney would be... Charney's about the only card of it. So based on trying to look at is, do I want to make sure I use a specific card first? In case I pull something else I really want to use. I guess Maker Keeper is the least important card. We have to use Signet Ring. And in case I do pull Charney, I need the Intrigue. So... I don't think Maker Keeper is a big deal. Yeah, so then I think we have to use Signet Ring. It gives us a couple of options on draws. It gives us a couple of options on draws, and we just kind of hope we get lucky. Yeah. Maybe we get... Maybe we fluke it. We do not. No! But it was on. Yeah, Charney to use or Paracompass to there, so that's fine. We don't get that. That's okay. Two, four, six. Oh, yeah, the plus... I always forget about Gurney's plus one passive. I do it in person as well. Like, I, a couple of times in North Carolina, I just completely forgot about Gurney's passive plus one. I just don't think about it. I just don't think about it. I forget about it all the time. So. He did have buy. My God, he did have buy access. Holy Christ. He had freaking buy access. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Feels bad for Red here. So we've just got to, we're going to score a load of points. I don't think we can win anymore. I don't, because Marty's just got to score a point. I don't think we can catch, but we'll see. Man, he actually had buy access. That's pretty sick. We're going to get some spice together. I mean, we're going to score five points. So we're going to get to 12. He scores spices flow for one. I get some 11. One end game. Eh, I don't know. Maybe we might edge this. I get the trackers wrong all the time. For some reason, I see the 10 mark and I think it's 11. I don't know why. I just keep getting these wrong. I see it. I think, oh, he's at 11 points. It's it's just a... I'm, I'm old, you know. And we there is Spice at Deep Desert as well, which I didn't comment. So we might get there. It's going to be close. It's going to be the stupidest scoreboard you've ever seen, by the way. It's going to be the absolute stupidest scoreboard. Like that, they the, the round we highlined, like, absolutely crippled these guys. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't blame him. Um, get it in. Stabon did the best he could here. But yeah, I, I really crippled him. There goes Ornithopter, by the way. Well, that's one card that... Oh, well. Well, Mardip has got one endgame, bear in mind. Mardip has a guaranteed endgame. So he's going to get to 12. But we're also going to get to 12 here. So we've just got to hope that we... Um, hope that we get there. Yeah, it was rough ever since the, 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 the big fight that round four. It was pretty rough. Yeah, no worries, man. Take care. But he's trying to work out what to do here for tiebreakers. I don't think anything he does is going to matter here, apart from maybe like intrigue diving. Um, I pulled that round one. I believe that is the only intrigue I've seen this game. Oh, and we got weird in combat as well. These are the only two intrigues I've had all game. And those were well and white round three. Yeah, the, the weird in combat worked itself out pretty well. 
I think Wardeep's going to get us on Spice Tiebreak, unfortunately. I don't think... Uh... Um, Red should have a load more strength, by the way. It should be no, he didn't add it on. Um, I'm just going to sit in his seat and apply it correctly. So he has... How much sword does he have? One, two, three... Four, five, six? Is that plus six swords? I think there's plus six swords. Sorry about the zooming in. It's 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 the mod. Yeah, it's significant because it makes a difference in regards to end games here, so I want to put those on. They were not applied. But Margo, I think Margo is just giving Wadi the win because he's going to have too much spice for us. So, shame. If he has any point, he's good. And I assume he has a point. So, we did all we could. It's been a bizarre game, this. If you got spice with flow, it's it doesn't matter. Like you win, I can't stop you. So unless Margot does something crazy, no, I think he's already got it. He must. I think he's got it. He's, he doesn't must have it. He's got it surely. Yeah, he had it. So Margot basically decides who wins. Oh, but, oh my god, look at this! The Tide! Margo is king-making here. I, I, yeah. Margo is fencing for me. Oh my goodness. Go, Margo! Go, Margo. This is important. This is tie breaks right here. Maybe. No end game. No other end game. I have nothing else. Did we win this? Look at this scoreboard, by the way. What in the hell? I've never seen a scoreboard like that in my life. That is the... Look at this. Yeah, Margo was fencing for me at the end there on the spice. Oh, yeah, she had... She had, she had more. She actually could have retreated a troop and done that. Yeah, all sorts of stuff. There is no spice reward. He's 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 been edged out. <laughs> wow. Wild. I mean, I've never seen a scoreboard like that in my life. That is the damnedest. Twelve points. Twelve points. Five. I've never seen that. Have you ever seen? A scoreboard like that. I don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> wow. Well, there we go, folks. Guild Spy wins three out of three games. Um, <laughs> and uh, the Barn Swords here. Hold us off. Uh, he gets an end point. He had the he had the propaganda uh, win, so he's always guaranteed a point there. I mean, I've played against Gambit a few times, um, and Kurio's played a little bit, but I mean, to this extent, like that's a seven point swing between second and third. I, I've never seen it that drastic. I've um, in the in the quarterfinal game we played, it was like what 11-11, I think. Me and um, 
Ryan scored like six or whatever else. I've never seen like that big a swing. It's absolutely insane. I've never seen that. Um, I mean, we, we needed a conflict we could double pair on. Like, if it's... The truth be told, if it's Arakeen, we lose. And if it's Imperial Basin, we lose. Um, but we kind of got screwed in the last one. We were hoping it would be a refinery, and it wasn't. So, we, you know, we, we built the cash up earlier. Went to the refinery in, just in case. <coughs> um, it had to be this specifically, and we got it. And we had the spies. Now I'm glad I put the spy down there. I think I probably would have got there anyways, but... Yeah, buy access was there. That was pretty pretty wild. Ridiculous match this. Pretty ridiculous. It was the um It was Chrome Securities were apps was the massive change there. Like absolutely crippled Margot and Staban. Um and they could not recover from that. Chrome Security absolutely crippled it. I was worried he had buy access, so there was definitely concerns. He had the money for it, so yeah. But yeah, it was pretty insane. But yeah, we only had two intrigues all game. Uh, manipulate, which got us. What did we play? Even get us in this game, Charney, which we got. Charney didn't even. She was useful, but she didn't give us a ton of like extra use this game. Like I've had better Charney games. Um, in fact, we only bought, like, basically, like, four games, four cards all game. And the Spice is Flow, I guess. Like, I mean, our deck was... Basically that, and that, and that. Power Compass got us a Spice Plus Flow, and Make a Keeper we never used, and we bought two Spice Plus Flows. So, very kind of, um, modest deck. A little bit, but I, I think... I don't know. The problem is then if I'm going press no object, I then wouldn't have the cash list. So I guess maybe it goes both ways. But Charney's... You can't really turn it down as Gurney. Even if you have kind of like a modest Charney as Gurney, it's still... You still get those... And it's still a huge threat factor. Like, we weren't able to leverage as much out of it as I would have liked, but she was still okay. Um, But yeah, this was... This was just completely... We didn't even get the Emperor. just completely sacked it off. Just a massive, um, massive round eight here. I mean, yeah, like, I could have taken, um, I could have taken price. I could have bought it, but I didn't want it. Thought Chani was better. Yeah, crazy one. All right then, kids. Well, we're gonna end it here. Uh, it has been a roller coaster this one. Real lies. <laughs> First game was a bit of a mare. Second game, we played pretty well. I don't think we could have done really any better in this one. I think we did all right, too. So, you know, I, I look back, I feel like the day I played all right. I still think that first game, I think those first couple of rounds, we actually played pretty good. We just missed everything. Um, and then we just we had nothing to fall back on, and it was just going to be a one one way stop from there, unfortunately. But I still think those first couple of rounds, if I was sat in that seat, I'd make the exact same decisions again. Like I have no regrets on any of the moves we made. We just missed every single draw, um, which is like what do you do? So yeah, but a weird one. <coughs> God damn it! I need to stop talking. Um, so. We'll call that that. Um, we do have a plethora of uprising matches coming next week. I have got more dating to do. I'm looking forward to it. There is those last couple of heroic challenges on Doom Digital. I might, I might talk myself into doing those first. I'm not gonna lie. You guys got loads of content coming. I mean, I don't need to rush. You know, I'm running out of hard drive space, sure, but it, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Any any tips for that quiz that's had a heroic challenge, by the way? Or the uh, You've Got to Go Everywhere challenge. I guess that one is Get Quiz at Tadarak. <laughs> and prepare for a lot of restarts. It'll be fun. But yeah, cheers to the company. All over the place match this. All over the place stream, but uh, glad we did it. So take cares, and uh, we'll, we'll see you soon from this 
Strange, strange world we occupy.